My name is Peter Majuzi. I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm joined by a special guest, Remy. He's a Man United fan. Yay! Bye, bye, say. Daddy, boy, say. Joined by Ernest, a Manchester United fan. Give me real. There he goes again. <laughs> I'm joined by Oscar, a Chelsea fan. Top of the league, top of the league. <laughs> How does that end? I don't know. We're just, <laughs> we're, just, we're just top of the league. Joined by uh, Robin, Manchester United fan. Manuel Fellaini for the Ballon d'Or. Oh, oh. Hey. That's what. That's the time. Hey. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> we've I'm joined already. by David, an Arsenal fan. I only show my emotions in bed. <laughs> my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. Flipping what is this up. the 18 plus podcast? This is the, the <laughs> parental <laughs> advisory edition. PG. Um, Do you want to know who she said that, bro? Who said that? Pochettino, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what he said? After Fig scored that Rabona bro, yeah, didn't bro. We... he said. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, he needed a Rabona <laughs> this week, though. That does not sound right. Yeah, he needed <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're kicking what? things off. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Yeah. That, no, that's, that's taking a minute to sink in. No, because I said, has he come on to us still? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The Ballon d'Or emotions. The Ballon d'Or emotions. <laughs> but uh, let's kick things off at Old Trafford, where Chelsea dropped two points in the last kick of the game, more or less. Um, <laughs> Manchester United fans, Chelsea fans, Who's the happier leaving the game? Obviously United. 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 Obviously United, yeah. Sit down Mourinho. 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 Sit down the best. I was creasing. Oh, is that what they were singing? Yeah. Because yeah. ah. he, st- he stood why, up why, why, why are they the more happier of the two clubs? Because obviously yeah. we were losing. Mm-hmm. The last minute, we don't want to lose points, especially... In the position where we are, where we're trying to get into the top four, mm-hmm. get a point. A point can mean anything between top four and not finishing the top four if you look about it. True, true. So that's, that's my true. point of view. Obviously, we could have won that game, in my personal opinion. The amount of chances that we took and we just didn't take it. Before the game, if 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 both teams had said we would leave with a draw, who would be happier before the game happened? Man United. But, Man United. Still Man United. Yeah. yeah. I expected Chelsea to put it on us. Interesting. And. Now Van Gaal got his tactics right. He did well. He pushed Fellaini. Yeah, because Fellaini handled Fabregas on on another level. This is what I was telling you on on Twitter that I think Mata had his best game. The thing is, I wouldn't even say it was just Fellaini. It was the three in the middle that did that did perfectly well to sort of to sort of. I'm loving cut the the, cut the cut the supply to Mata, and then when he did get it, it was always Fellaini's behind him, Blinder's behind him, and he couldn't make a pass. And it was like, in the first half, he did nothing. In the second half, he was just quiet. Yeah. So I think, yeah, Van Gaal did very well in that respect. At 1-0 to Chelsea, though, why didn't Chelsea kill the game off? Oh, that's all I can... That's all, that's all I kept thinking. During the game, all I'm saying is, Hazard, go for it, go for it. Like They, they, they didn't yeah. take chances after that. They didn't want to do it. And it wasn't Mourinho. Ivanovic had that, that, that chance, though. What, what chance? Where he, he, he ran through our defence... Fellaini didn't want to tackle him because he might get a penalty. Oh yeah, and he squared it, and then, and then there was no one, there was no one on the other end. But yeah, I just felt like even there was a ten minute period because everyone was like, oh, when Mourinho brought on Mikel, that's when he sort of started yeah, yeah. out. But there was a ten minute period from the goal till Mikel coming on, yeah, yeah. where the players themselves Definitely. did not go for it, Definitely. and I just felt like, oh, if Hazard or maybe there was no runs in behind after that point. Yeah. And it was like Drogba was just coming deep all the time, and it just felt like they didn't want to score he, another he one. He even made some comments yesterday, um, Mourinho, and he said um, he's disappointed in his. Not that he's disappointed, but the fringe players yesterday didn't give him a reason to think hard about Saturday. He said it's going to be very easy to pick his team for Saturday. <laughs> yeah, wow. I could pick the team. It's based on the performance yesterday, at true. So he wasn't even happy with the way the team was set out yesterday. I oh, see. Yesterday. He, 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 oh, he was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking yeah. about. Uh, Manchester yeah, because he's talking about the players, and I'm saying, yeah, even yesterday, oh, he's okay, saying okay. that it's oh, yeah. not going to be hard picking his team they, for QPR they because just, the fringe players... didn't come out and, and say, yeah. we want to win this game. They didn't stamp it on it. It was almost like a 1-0 the game. I, I think it's a tactic. Tactic thing. As in, Van Gaal, who, who, no, won, no, no, who no, won, no, won tactic? No. Who won tactic? Like, he scores once he's... He done it against Man City as well. They came back. I, I, yeah. I kept saying it, man. That's that another game, two points yeah, drops. That game they should have won. For Chelsea. That game and Chelsea it was down won. to 10 men. And no, but, but to be honest, that game, I think Man City played better than we did that day. On that, on that day? On that day, I think Man City were better. Well, you but guys against United, I felt like it was very even. 
I think even that city though, you looked more dangerous when you were hitting the post and things like that. It just looked like you looked more of a threat. The pass that the made the goal was brilliant. Oh, yeah, the movement. Yeah, the movement that made awesome. that goal was brilliant. But anyway, Man United, yeah, Chelsea. Another issue I had with Man United is when it came to corners. It's like you only had one. No, no, no. I'm talking about Chelsea. <laughs> the, the ball. Oh, <laughs> no, don't worry about us. I know we had one. David was ready. <laughs> Talk about Chelsea. Ready, As in, yeah. a lot of them were trying to mark players that were bigger than them. And you see Drogba's goal. There was no one in front of him. No, but you yeah, see, the, the issue is that... If, and and you say Raphael. No, but, like, the, no, but the issue is that if you move someone bigger to match Drogba, you've still got Matic. You still got advantage. But I'm saying you, you could still have had got someone fam- like fam- Fellaini, like no, but no, but no, 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 no. There's always going to be a big man yeah, left. It's is always, my point. It's always a mismatch. The, right? Chelsea games. have big men. The yeah. point with that goal is that. But I'm saying with that goal, basically there was no one in front of Jogba to no, stop no. it. To try. Robin makes a good point. There was Van no Persie one. was on the line, wasn't he? Yeah, that. there was and no that's one. Jogba had a free run. free, and he had he had to in. I think regardless of if he's there, it's going in. No, I mean you're on the line to it's, stop it from going no, in. What, no, what I'm saying is that if even if Van Persie's not there, it's going in. I don't think Van Persie heading it made a difference. But don't you think that no, Top no, was no. the most dangerous man to score a header in the box in that y- situation? Y- y- yeah, of course. And no, he was the one that was not. No, no but what I'm saying is that because they had more corners than us, mm. regardless of what happened, because he's talking about corners. Yeah. He said corners. Yeah. And I'm saying that regardless of what happens, they have big more big more big men than we do. Yeah. Both of our wing backs are shorter than theirs. Did you see what I'm well, saying? Yeah, no, I, I agree no, with you. My, my, what, what I was saying was that don't you think that the the the, the player that you use to mark Drogba is the, it's the Drogba's the most dangerous one I think yeah. of the big men. One hundred percent. But yeah. he had the weakest yeah. link. One hundred percent. No, no. As I, in, I, I, if you said Matic had the weakest link or something like, that, I can understand that's just oh, it just happens because yeah, there were more. Yeah. There's more bigger men, and then you and it's it's not every day Matic scores. So if he does, yeah. unlucky. But Drogba... No, but you have to remember, they had, they had, what, six, you had right. what, six corners? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it's, for me, it's it, they could have scored in any one of those corners. Sure. The, 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 and they the, scored in the, the one thing, where I just we saw think, the mismatch. I just think us, because we haven't passed practice marking by looking at that. The thing that would have annoyed me... Or, or, or should we just give Drogba credit and say, if Drogba's no. 50 years old, he's still... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no yeah, but if you score a goal, you get credit it's regardless. Just, it's just, but you, 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 you always look at how you're going to start. No, 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 no I'm there. agreeing that's with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying that when I watched it, I thought, you know what, yeah? It's Drogba, though. The thing that would have annoyed me most if I was a United fan is the fact that Robin Van Persie is like six foot, right? Mm. He is no, 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 no. He's, he's, he's somebody you stay on the post no no let me, let me finish let me finish Robin Van Persie Robin Van Persie Fun. is somebody that could be out there marking a drug bar could be out there but Van Hal or whoever is the defensive coach has said let's put him on the line and stop a goal going on the line the ball was at his head height you've got to clear that no 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 stay you've got to post. clear yeah, that I just think they, I think they used why to, are you on the line mark the wrong man Drogba is the dangerous one of and you got four or five so, no. to me. Why are you on the goal line if you're not going to clear the ball? Was marking Drogba. It, well, there you go. Fellaini was marking Drogba and others were marking Yeah, they switched. They switched. switched. Yeah. Imagine that. Caused it. So Imagine I think, that. You know, if he had Fellaini on him. You stay on the post. Maybe, maybe, maybe no, do you know what? You have that switch, bad boy. When you see the ball come in. But to be fair, with with a lot of our corners, Rafael is our is our postman. Yeah, and that's not... That's not... A lot of our corners, I... How tall is he? If... <laughs> a lot, a, a lot of the corners that I've seen cleared that could have gone in when the hair couldn't get. It's Rafael that clears it. That's the thing. He probably so. has a good jumper. He's got a jump on him as well. Yeah. 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 Oh no, no, Rafael has a jumper, but it's Drogba. Yeah. That's my point. It's yeah, like it's, yeah, it's, you can't it's expect Drogba. Rafael to do anything. I don't <laughs> think he was eight feet up in the air when he. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was eight feet. The thing is, the thing is though, Chelsea uh, United did well to come back and counter counter that 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 uh, that the Thanks. goal they conceded. And scoring a goal, a very important goal for Van Persie. No, nah, he, he from finished. He the, the buried foul, it, yeah, he, 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 <laughs> You know when the His goal life was on the line, up, literally, when he scored that. The goal almost, jumped up. I was like, yeah, hey. the back end of the goal. He I was just like, he, he, but you know what it is? I, I will He's say this. I, 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 think, I, think that, I think that was United's best performance this season. I, 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 I think so, yeah. Mm. I would agree. I think I'd say so. first half, maybe, but that second half, I don't know. I it's saw because a lot of Chelsea everyone got tired. In that no, second no, half. No, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? It's, 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 I've never se- I haven't seen us defend like that this, in 2014. Mm. I just thought Chelsea looked controlled. But then the fact they didn't go for the second mm. and it ends 1 1, it looks like Royal well, United did it extremely well, which they did. But I felt like that second half for me, I, I mean, I only came in from the second half, but. I looked at it and I just looked, this looks like Chelsea to me. Well, let's, let's put it this way. If you if the game had ended 1-0, would you be saying it's United's I, best I, performance? I, I said it at my friend's house in the 70th minute. I said, and it was 1-0 then. I, I said, 
United, I, I will applaud them. Yeah. This was mm. our best performance mm. in 2014. Because right. I, I, I even said, listen, I, I even said to, the, to, to a few Chelsea fans that were saying that um, we're going to get battered. I thought, you know what? Our players will step up. Regardless of how many goals we can... Phil Jones, if he plays, will step up. And one thing I have to give credit um, to the team for is that Jones got injured that night, mm-hmm. the night before that. Smalling walks in from injury and, and he has a good game. You see, if you see what I'm saying? Except for the... The penalty shot. Because another part of that game was that oh, yeah, Phil yeah. Dowd had a shambolic game. Yeah, he really he, did. He, did. he really, really did. Really he, did. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, Phil Dowd had a shambolic game. Uh, when it comes to Ivanovic... Um, was it a red card? Let's do this debate. No, no, no. The first foul... No, it wasn't a foul. The first foul, he gives him a yellow card for dissent. Mm-hmm. Not Because yeah. the actual foul is not a yellow. It's not a foul, <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. It's, yeah. <laughs> De Maria just needs to eat. They what both they both put their hands on each other and, 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 and he just and he just throws him to the All side. Day long see what I'm saying? <laughs> the second the second foul yeah. was a clip. So 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 we have to remember the first foul was for descent. Yeah. He's, he's chatting to Phil Dowd. Yeah. Yeah. So the second one he clips him from behind, looking at De Maria, not his legs, and it's like, bro, that's not let, even a yellow. Let, let's take away yeah. Let's take away the first incident. Yeah, the first yellow. Is Ivanovic's foul on Di Maria the second time a yellow card? No, it's not. Not, it's in, not, a, not in a month. So, so we're saying it's not a red. Because like, they're chasing the gear at the moment, isn't it? So mm. the referee sees it like, okay, you just stopped him from... No, but I think, I, think, I think he, he kept he, he, it. I, I think he kept a, me, a mental note of Ivanovic yeah. the first time. Did Ivanovic fall as well? When he no. Him? No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. Ooh, he didn't. But if I, it's not like Ivanovic stuck a leg out. Yeah, Ivanovic was like running and he was trying to catch up with Di Maria. It's the moment. It's a there. free kick. It's a free kick, definitely. But it's not but a yellow. Not a yellow. It's and the yellow. fact that Phil Dowd just took, took his time before he like he thought about it. And Ivanovic knew it was coming. And he still gave it. Because they're having a conversation even before he lifts the, the second yellow and it's like, come on, yeah, bro. That's not. And for me, I think that had a major impact mentally to Chelsea because they still have four defenders because Zuma comes on before Ivanovic gets gets sent off. But it's just like, raw. Ivanovic could have been a, a fifth body in here, mm. in, in this corner. And then it comes off Courtois. He does well to save it. Second time, it's just Van yeah, Persie one-on-one. One. I don't know how he saved that Fellaini header. Yeah. Courtois yeah. is a oh, shit um, keeper. Oh, hold on, match the way they... Yeah, you, you got match, you got, you got step man of the match. Van Persie took a step forward. But I also think that, that if... It, it, could, it, it, when, when I look at when I look at the man of the match decision, I thought, it could have easily gone to the hair. Yeah, I was like, both... Because the two the two of them were brilliant. I think the hair is saved from Hazard's shot. Was probably the best get save Sorry. of the night, but Courtois looked like he made a lot more important saves in the game throughout the game, which is why I get Courtois' man. The thing is, Courtois made it look like Man United weren't doing much when they were. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Especially in the, in, the first, was, in the first half. Yeah, he was just he was just so solid. Every free kick that Di Maria had, he got on the end of it in the first half, like three of them. Which one was the one where Di Maria kicks? He he kicks a free kick. And all I saw is this big yellow man. Yeah, <laughs> he's mad. holding the ball, and the ball touches he, touches the bar, and I'm like, it. "My gosh, this guy's massive!" Him, did you see him from uh, when Van Persie flicked the header towards goal? Oh, that was. That yeah. could have yeah. been that a goal. In that could have been yeah. a goal. All I see, my man coming, I just. Uh, That's right. Courtois a big boy. I was just like, swear. He's a big boy. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So. So United fans seem to be more happier with the with the one one. No, I'm I'm much more happy because it was a good performance. I'm loving the relationship between Blind and, F- and Fellaini. They so know. Does way Fellaini to... merit a place ahead of Carrick? Ah, uh, yeah. Every yeah. day of the week from these two performances, okay. because he's more he's more agile. He's younger. Carrick is coming back yeah, to, to the Manchester derby. Right, you know, I can't oh, I'm a massive fan of Fellaini. I'm not going to. Did, 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 did you see his back heel to to, to, to Yadza? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, because the reason why I was saying because I remember last week's pod we were talking about you know first team and you're saying how Carrick isn't there, hence why Fellaini has to walk in. There. We need muscle. But Fellaini, for me, has always been a bigger asset to United than Carrick will be for the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Age and Carrick is is getting on. So, and Blind Blind is like Alex Ferguson called him a common sense footballer. Like, he knows what he's doing. He reminds me of Joe Burrow. You know so he yeah. knows what he's doing. What did you guys think at the end of the game when um, Van Hal just called Van Persie stupid for taking off his shirt and throwing I don't think he likes him, you know. <laughs> I genuinely don't think Van Hal likes Van Persie simply because when it comes Anymore? to choosing captaincy... Or ever. Choosing captaincy... Well, the first time when Van Hal was manager of Holland, he dropped Van Persie from the national squad. The second time, he has him in. I think he's the captain. Was Van, Hull, was Van Persie the captain in the he World was, Cup? Yeah. yeah, he was. He was. And then, you know, this is a guy with captain experience, even from Arsenal. 
Man United have the choice to choose a captain and they choose Rooney over Van Persie. Yeah, but, but, but Rooney was captain. Rooney was captain of England yeah, and Rooney's been there a lot longer. Rooney's been there for 10 years. He's been there for time. No, but it's not about the length of time you've been there. No, but you've just come, bro. Hold on. It's not about the length of time. He hasn't just come. Yeah, Van Persie's been there for two years. He's just starting his third year. Yeah, Captains, you've got to be there for at least four or five seasons, bro. What? I think if you're... Hold on. I think if you're a captain, if you're of captain material... I think you could go to a team and become captain in your first three years. Isn't Ray Ferdinand as captain? At, uh, my, my, yeah, Ferdinand's captain of QPR. Yeah. What's it called? Um, D- does he oh, even yeah, play? Last captain of Aston Villa. Last captain of Aston Villa. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I still don't agree with it. I think Rooney should be captain of United. Over Van Persie? Yeah. 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 Wow. When he's not had no experience? At all. He's an England cap- captain. No, as in he got it. No, 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 no. He got it. He just got it this year. He did get it. Wait, was England? Was Rooney not captain of England in the World Cup? No, it was Gerrard. Oh, yeah, Gerard, I, think, yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. Rooney has had captain opportunities. Like, he's walked Man United out yeah. quite a few times beforehand. So, I feel like... Oh, England. I was it's, surprised. It's I, I felt where... like when you haven't seen Rooney be captain and you're Van Gaal, you've got a Dutch man who's been your captain in Holland, I would have just thought... And, and you got experience from Arsenal and whatnot, so he can see that he can be a captain. Why he would... Who's the vice? I think, I think it's Fletcher. Fletcher. Um, yeah, but, I think, but I think, I think Rooney does embody more of Man United than, than Van Persie does in yeah. terms of leadership. And he's a loyal player. He's not going to like hand in a transfer request or something. Oh, we already did that twice. <laughs> <laughs> he's done that twice. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just thought because if Pelo gets into another team, he gets no. Because you have to remember, like when we when me and you had discussions, I don't like strikers being captain. No, I get. I, I get don't the, like strikers well, being captain. Who else? In the United it's, situation, it's, it's a different. It's, it's a different case because yeah. there's no one else. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, could have a could have a shout to do it. No, I understand that. I understand that. No, I mean, every, no, but every, no, every, no, no, I, like, no, I, I like goalkeepers as captains because you watch the whole game. Yeah, but you can't even speak to your striker. You can't even speak to anyone. Uh, what do you say? Tell, tell the defender. I put the, the ball in the net, cuz. But I like, I like back people being the captains. To me, centre back DM. That's that's it. Centre mids, boy. Someone you can shout from left to right. I just always think of that as that scenario when somebody gets fouled and they're always like, I want to speak to the captains. And it's like, how's your goalkeeper going to come, <laughs> come up to the halfway line and talk to the ref? Goalkeepers got to be extremely disciplined as well. Like, goalkeepers can be a bit nutted at times when it comes to like confrontational stuff. No, Remy, I, I see why you say the hair, but no, he's not. He's not. Uh, uh, if you're saying the, ahead of Van Persie, you would say. Oh. Like in general, no, because they all bring up the I head. Think, I'm thinking, I, I think so, yeah. No, because and, and when they were doing the whole captaincy thing, I never put Van Persie in that list because I thought he's only, he's only been there for like. I years. feel like he's the only one that's been a captain before. That's why I would he would be shortlisted. But well, I was looking at his captain at for Man United, not just captain. I, I was looking at it for for Man United. Yeah, so, to each their own. You know, that's why. So the thing is, well, Man United will be going to the Etihad this weekend, who hey. didn't do well in London last week, uh, losing 2-1. Alex Dimitri Sangmila! There's the world in Rome, scores the occasional goal. <laughs> he plays the way he is facing. West Ham winning 2-1. Did Brilliant you see stuff. Alex Song's interview post his post match interview? No, I didn't. What, he what comes to the BT desk outside <laughs> after the game is <laughs> oh done my days. in his Under Armour suit, bro. It's a bit crazy though that he got a studio right outside the stadium. I feel that's a bit weird. I don't like that. I'm not talking about the studio. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just putting a BT thing out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got enough money to go into the actual to the stadium. No, don't they? Uh, no, 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 I don't know. I'm asking. Oh no, no. I just felt like they have a studio, bro. Shout out to Alex Song. It's just a room, isn't it? Like, <laughs> when is to sign him up? Oh, nah, he's not going to do that. I'll take him back, brother. Of course you there's will. There's three teams. Oh, that, oh, when oh. I watched that game, I thought there's three teams that could have taken Alex on. United, Liverpool, Arsenal, bro. Would have... Can, can would I ask, let me ask a question. Do you think he's being overrated at the moment only because he's doing well at a Definitely. lesser club? Because I, I don't know if he goes to United, Chelsea, Arsenal, whoever, that he does the same level of performance oh, no, as he's doing at West Ham. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think he's a Champions League season. player. No, no, but so one... Yeah, one his last season was Arsenal, bro. True. It Who was, was left in bed, bro. but it was a dead Arsenal team. It was though. I mean, I'm not denying about Song's ability. Yeah, I think it's yeah. top. What position does Song play exactly? But we're complaining. We got our Tetra Flamini. We used to hold him, have him in the DM. Arsenal. He was our DM. Wait, does he play DM for West Ham? Because yeah, I, I think they're like yeah, seven. Don't they do 4-4-2? It was yeah, four four two diamond. They had a yeah they had a diamond against against Man City. So Song protects the back four. I mean, I think he's a really good player, but I I think. 
he's at what his happened? level. I think yeah. I, I think the it. highest he can go from here is like a Tottenham or an Everton. He's not. I don't know. He's not going out because I, 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 you, you reckon he he's in it. Yeah, I really do. I really do. The only top four team you're saying is Arsenal. I'm skeptical about it. Yeah, because he's not going into United's team. He's not going into Chelsea's team, and he's not going into City's team. So the team you're only calling out is and what for Liverpool? I'd give you. Well, you see the thing. You see the thing is this. I think. I think. I think people are being harsh and saying that this is his level. So Alex Wong is a Champions League player. But so are many others. Yeah, that would yeah, never make the top four team. Yeah, that would never make the top four. No, no, I hear that. I just, I just think that he's, he's, he's getting the opportunity to actually play, and so he's doing well, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not, it's not like Barcelona didn't pick him because he was just any man. There must have been a reason why they, they, they even because even if they know they're gonna mess you up, they will buy you anyway. But there's a reason you why they I'm sold saying? him. They got rid of him. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 I mean? yeah, yeah, because you change manager and you don't have a, de- a decision on why you picked the guy in the first place. On who? Enrique. No, no, no. Um, who, who's you? Tata Martino. Okay. Who? No, Villanova. Villanova right. son. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you've already got Busquets, so you're getting him because Champions League teams te- they tend to have one more than one player for each position. Yeah. And so they would, they'd have Busquets and then Song, but actually he plays centre back. So Song have... wasn't up to scratch when he first came because the level of Barcelona from Arsenal is quite superiorly different. No, it's it's, it's mm. different, and it's a different yeah. league. It's you've got, a different you've got league. You need time you to bed do. in, and they yeah. don't really. really and I, I think Song's done well in the three or four games that he's played, yeah. but West Ham have also done very well. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, you know, West Ham have got players like Stuart Downing who are playing really great. That doesn't mean he's good enough to go and play for a, an Arsenal or a Because we don't know, know about I mean. Sacco and these guys when they come out of West Ham and join oh, another definitely team. Not. We don't know. But they're doing tremendously well this season. I mean, you have to, but, but then I can also say that the, playing in a big team also, also helps you in your game. Like I, like, I wouldn't expect him to shine in a small team in terms of... Like, sorry, it's like... When when rubbish players are around you, you'll still you'll still do your thing. But with better players around you, you also get to express yourself a lot more. I don't know, man. I think if you're good, you're good. Because when you play for a better team, there's a lot more pressure on you. People are watching you more. If West Ham draw the next game, no one's saying Alex Song. But if Arsenal draw the next game, we're looking at Arteta. We're looking at Flamini. Do you know yeah, what but, I mean? Yeah, but as defensive midfielder, Song is better than, uh, than, than, than Arteta. But that, the point he, he makes, though, the, the point, point I make he, is that the point he makes is it's, still quite it's, strong. It's, it's when when West yeah. Ham don't do well. How is Song? When West when Arsenal do well, no one even mentions Arteta and Flamini, even yeah. though they I might mean, have done a well job. I, I, but, 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 but if I you lost, think, you don't you don't. No I, also think, I, also think, I also think it's early days to say whether or not if if West Ham draw or lose a game, whether we how we should analyze Alex Song, because they've been doing well. So let's so let's actually see. When they flop and how his performance yeah, true. Go, no, goes true, with that, to, to be able to make those kind of statements, because I think yeah. I think it's too early to say. No, it's because he's getting a lot of praise. I want to know: are we are we overshadowed? Are we like over? I think we're we're, we're overthinking it because I I saw um I've seen much of it and I've seen his performance. You know, I was like, okay, he played really well. But then again, you know, Valencia's done well, Saka's done well. Mm. Every, everyone the team has really stepped up, and this is a, like a, a new look West Ham. So big Sam. I feel like you got to wait. Sam. You got to wait till the um to the end of the season to really start talking about you know transfers and stuff and where they could move to and mm. if they can go higher. But you know, it's, it's early days for West Ham. And they, they I just think it's rather unfortunate that Europa League is only one spot for us. I think it's two this season. I think fifth and sixth maybe get it, but it depends on what happens in the FA Cup and Capital One. I think it's good for the for the Capital One Cup that they get, they get uh, something. Yeah, but then if, I mean, it's here and there, isn't it? It's catch <laughs> you never know, isn't it? Catch twenty two of the Europa League. The only reason why I brought up the song question was because you know how we can big up a player. You know, you know how the media can be. We can big up a player, but then the next when, week. They, when they when they when yeah, second half of the season they die down. Were they really that good? Were are they just off form, or is this their true colours when their team's not doing well? Because West Ham. I don't think we'll be fighting relegation as such, but they won't be in the top half that long. I don't think when everybody wakes up, kind of thing. They might, they might make the top ten, maybe. But nah. yeah, the, the, we'll see. Before, the, the we'll top see. seven will stay. I can see the top seven staying. The top seven, the positions obviously between that will change. <coughs> yeah. But um, and maybe Southampton might creep up. I mean, Tottenham are not even in the top but, half. So um, you know, you never, once, once <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. West Ham might finish. You know. Yeah. But actually, I'm saying Southampton probably maybe eighth. Then you know, West Ham could finish like. Second best of the rest, that kind of thing. So you know, ninth, tenth. I don't, I don't see them getting relegated, but you know, nothing too, too big. This is still early. Mm-hmm. early yeah. 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 Let's talk about the result anyway. They got a very, very good win um, against the champions. It was a good game. Great um, win. Apparently, it was one of the best games of the season. I think it was the best game. Yeah, best game of the, the season. season yeah. Apparently, so really, best apparently game of the so. season. Oh, okay. I've heard, I've heard people saying it was a really, really good game. Um, what's happened to City? What, what is it about? Why are they so inconsistent at mm. the moment? They have mares in them. They're not big clubs, though. 
I think Champions League has shown it. They are the Premier League champions. They are the Premier League champions. Europe is the second time. The second time this has happened, yeah. They've won the league. Yeah. The second season. They didn't, they're not trying. Man. No, my thing is they're Man. not trying. Yeah, they're being complacent. No, but even no, but even no, 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 but even when they win the league, they have mares that is here. <laughs> they have mares. We should be yeah. surprised. This is the second time we've done this. Do you know what I think? Because they haven't won the league convincingly, they've never actually won it convincingly. Man United did it, Arsenal did it, Chelsea did it. They've all yeah. done it convincingly. Okay. So because Man United and City, you know, first season won by goal difference, this uh, last season they won it on the uh, on the last day okay, again. Okay, so yeah. it's just like. They're winning it and they've got the quality, but they're not doing. They're not doing enough to really Europe, showcase. I, I Europe is a whole other level. <laughs> yeah. like I literally Europe. feel like their effort is just. And even last season, Liverpool beat them and then threw it away. So yeah, <laughs> it's yeah like... I think that it's the effort. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's the effort. This team is is brilliant on its day. I don't know a team that beats City on their day. That's hard to say. I know teams that can beat Arsenal even if Arsenal on their day. I know teams that can beat Chelsea even if Chelsea on their day. But I can't see anyone I think, beating I think, City I think, on Ch- their day. I think Chelsea can beat City on their day. I don't like the phrase on their day. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know it, what you mean. I know anyone, you mean. I said, I yeah. said when they're both at their best, let's say. Yeah. I, 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 I think Chelsea can beat City on their day. Aside at their best. Aside. I think four, four, and I've not seen Chelsea do that often enough for me to say that I think Chelsea would. Um, there was a debate earlier today about who's better, De Gea or Joe Hart. Yeah, I saw the poll. Uh, De Gea, yeah, De Gea, De Gea got De Gea. the most votes. Someone put that out there. He put it like he got like seventy nine percent. Yeah. Um, I, I think yeah, Hart, been, the thing with Joe Hart, Joe Hart's yeah, not that good. The thing with Joe Hart, there's some days where he's good, yeah. and then there's just some. He's not. He I he's not had his Birmingham days. I feel sorry for him. Nah, no, his first year at City was hard. The same nah, thing. Nah. Yes, the same, he was. Nah. It's the same principle that I was talking nah, about. He was hard at Birmingham. His first year we saw this Birmingham keeper, and he's doing so well for Birmingham. When you uh, put him every week point. in in the Etihad with cameras on him every week, he makes one mistake, and for a month we don't rate Joe Hart. Good no, no, so no, 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 no. But Joe, Joe Hart doesn't have one mare about. <laughs> no, but honestly, he this season, mares, Ernest, this month. season, how many mares has he had? No, 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 no. This this season, I, even I told you. Stoke one. This uh-huh. no, but this season, even I told you that yeah. Joe Hart's had a good season so far. When you're that, yeah, yeah I, even I said it, and and I don't give Joe Hart that much credit. Mm. But do you, know, do you know why? That's why I think De Gea does has, has looked better at than Joe Hart because De Gea's at a team where it's not been doing too well, but he's been one of the outstanding players in that team, mm. whereas. Joe Hart's team is in a team who is still in the top half, top four, who are still winning games here and there. But because he's not the outstanding player, he gets overlooked. That's just in my opinion. I feel like if, if City were in a United situation where City's team was as bad as, as United's is, and Joe Hart was pulling out, let's say, good performances as De Gea was, I don't see much difference between the two, if I'm genuinely honest. I don't see the difference between too much between De Gea and Joe Hart. I think one team, when they both lose, no one talks about how bad De, De Gea was. When, when City now, do you know what it is, do you know what is with, with, with Man City here is that, <laughs> I'll give you an example, last season and the season before is when I realised actually Joe Hart doesn't save much from long shots. His near post, act, like if you if you look at Courtois when the ball's close, he comes out, arms out everywhere, looking World to stop Cup. that ball. World Cup yeah? Yeah. Joe yeah. Hart, he protects his area. When it, when, it, when it comes to Joe Hart, I feel like he, he still hasn't mastered the art of being the leader at the back in terms of company um, um, Mangala or Demichelis. Yeah. Like, why are you guys so so deep? Or Zabaleta or this, that and other. Did you see how they conceded the, the, the first goal against West Ham? Yeah. Clichy is in France. Yeah. His eyes are yeah. somewhere I mean, else, bro. Where he is. Yeah? And it's like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that that's, that's Joe Hart's fault. I'm yeah. just saying that it's it's that whole thing of because for me the hair is my biggest issue with the hair is that he doesn't scream our our, our back four and that was when Vidic and Ferdinand was there. I don't know if it was an age thing or kind but, of thing uh, but that's exactly yeah, what, this, it, what you're Sunday saying I saw what, what, what you're saying is quite potent it's the fact that he had Vidic and thing there so with Joe Hart he's no, got but, company no, no, there no, but Fer- Ferdinand was <laughs> listen ask any United fan bro I mean, Ferdinand is, a, is an though. OAP no, but do, do you know what Fer- Ferdinand do you know Ferdinand hasn't made a single tackle for QPR this year. <laughs> did he change your Monday? Did he play? He didn't play. Okay, 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 I haven't seen. I haven't seen Ferdinand. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, yeah, trying to say. Yeah. And and for me, Joe Hart still makes schoolboy errors. And I'm like, no, but when I saw you at Birmingham, yeah, you were a don, bruv. And I'm like, where no, are you? This, this so Birmingham I thing, I just don't. I don't know about Birmingham. I just think about. He wasn't even in the Premier League at Birmingham. No, he wasn't. 
He was still a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah he wasn't in the Premier League. He was still a goalkeeper. He was. He was. He was. When he was number 25. Oh, yes, 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 he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. No, but even if he wasn't, he was still a goalkeeper. Yeah, but my point is, you're, we're not seeing your mistakes because they're not magnified. Yeah, you're not no watching 90 cares. minutes every week of Joe Hart. When Birmingham make mistakes, no one's pointing at I the mean, goalie. It's not about and he was doing very well at Birmingham that year. I, I get what you But, but to be fair, mistakes. to be fair, there are certain times where we do look at goalkeepers and we do recognise who's playing well and who's playing not. For example, la- a couple of seasons ago, Chelsea beat Aston Villa at Stamford Bridge. I think it was like 7 or 8. 8-0. Eight yeah. eight yeah. And Guzan was Brad one Guzan won man of the match. Yeah. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Sunderland News 8-0. We all see Vito Minone had an awful yeah. game. Yeah. So, it, you know, sometimes we do see it. But I just think with Hart, like, he's... The mis- yeah, the mistakes are, are too much at times, especially like you see guys like Roma, like you mentioned, like slipping before, you know, running out, and then, you know, instead of. Tr- uh, I think it's just too harsh. Just, I, I, oh, I, I, think I think so. I think in, in, he's England's number one, so he's going to get it. Yeah, with the England. The hell, he, he, he gets so around. much hype because of the, he's English, like, you know, the English hype, yeah. they hype up every single player. Yeah, so yeah. he gets so much hype that he's not living up to it. So, in, in a way, the media themselves are doing the. the giving the trouble to, to Joe Hart. So, I, I think only, you know, only say he can be a great keeper, but. He doesn't show enough of it. I see what you're saying. No, we can get to that. I get what you're saying. No, when he comes yeah. out, when he's like one on one, yeah, and he comes, he doesn't. You know, like Schmeichel, he will come, bro. That's like what we were talking about, Courtois. Like, it's they, big. like they, they, yo, spread they, themselves they spread out. themselves. Yeah. The two goals I've seen. Chesney and Hart are quite similar. There was, the one, there was the, the World Cup against your guy, just where the ball just went. That was right. a finish, though. Uh, that was, I don't give you know, that that was an issue. Need a clip to That was a finish. As far as you have to no, say, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Class. What against against Uruguay? Yeah. yeah. Nah, those those those, those, those are world class The second one. That was a bullet, bro. That was nothing to do with it. It was nothing to do with it. It's because it's near post. His argument is it's near post. It wasn't near post. It was a near post. Nah, it wasn't. Suarez goals near post. Nah, it wasn't. The it, was, it went this side. It went. It went. Bro, he it went to the, it, bro. Yeah, okay. that he was blasted near post. it past Joe Hart, and it's fast. Like it was. I, 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 I wouldn't blame Joe Hart for yeah, that me because neither. it's it's Suarez and it's that was just, he banged it. Was, it. Like, there was one game this season that Joe Hart had a really <laughs> good game. I just can't Tottenham. remember. It, it, yeah, Tottenham. Tottenham. Oh, Tottenham. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tottenham. You said it to me. That's why. That's why. That's why. Yes, he made a lot of good saves against Tottenham, and he almost <laughs> saved the goal. I even said it in a podcast. Even, that was yeah. the game where I was like, you know what? Joe Hart's had a good season they, this and year. And they even so praised him after. So I think yeah. you know. It's... I don't think Joe Hart's to blame for the defeat. The point is, they lost at West Ham United. <laughs> Silver's goal. goal, though, by the way. Silver's goal, amazing. Yeah. amazing. The, 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 the second goal you should never concede at, at near pole side and touch the ball. Second, <laughs> second goal. Which one? <laughs> What's his name? Sacco. Yeah, no, the second goal was Al wasn't it? Yeah, nah, nah, the first goal was Al ah. yeah, When he jumped in the crash. Yeah, because Fing was there, innit? Fing fell in the crash. Goal line technology. Goal line technology. Even I'll say that's not a goal fan. Oh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew it was a goal. I knew it was a goal. Oh, because Joe Hart dived into yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I was looking at it, I was like, no, that's not a goal fan. That's why I was like, ah, shame. To be fair, if I was a City fan, I'd be annoyed that Joe Hart's not saving that. Yes. And I mean, I think that, Courtois is getting to that. I'll I think be Hayes annoyed to at that, City as a whole if I was a fan just for the fact that they're just not trying. They're not being champions. Do you know what I'm saying? That's that's my beef with City if I was a City fan. It's, just, think, it's simply that. Like, but they, they also were unlucky. They need to take the, the game by the What, against West Ham? In the second half, I think you're right. I don't know how Aguero missed Aguero hit a bar. I mean, they were, the, they were pressurising West Ham and West Ham's goal came yeah, West Ham held against the run of play. They held on it, didn't they? Yaya Toure short. Bruv, that's your fault, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't looked the same this year. Yeah, sorry. He doesn't want to be there. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's his brother. I think it's the whole, the whole issue with his brother. Done for a lot, man. So yeah, yeah, his brother died, yeah, didn't it? And, and apparently, City went didn't allow him to go see him in hospital. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I think that's really. You just got to wait for the books to come out in a f- like five years, man. Like, <laughs> forever right. to find out. No, there's, there's, so <laughs> there's so many things. That's deep, bro. There's so many things. Yeah, there's so many things you don't know. Like we looked at Pellegrini last year. He was the man. He was the guy last season. But I think I think Mourinho got to. They gave Mona might... a trifle, and I didn't even get. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so City are, 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 are sliding a little bit away from Chelsea. Well, I mean, Chelsea got a draw as well. They're not so I guess the league, bro. They're not not too far back. So not too far off. We we have to wait and see. Um, sure Sunderland's defensive woes continued. Um, this time at home um, to Arsenal, um, two goals that were very very cheap. Hold on, very, Sanchez. Very cheap. Cheap. Huh? Sanchez, yeah, man. I think he's got eight goals this season. I'm very very happy for him. Yeah, I think I think Arsenal were four and Saturday. They were. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, for real, we were. Um, Carzola I'm not ticking to leave it. We're not ticking at the moment. Just what is happening with Arsenal? Bro? I haven't watched any of. Carzola hasn't scored a goal in the Premier League since February. 
Which I remember. Mad, bro. I don't know why he still makes Was he a goal scorer before or was he an assist though? He used to. He got 12 goals in his first season. 10 assists. He's having a His mad. first season was unbelievable. But then again, because it was a dead team in midfield, does he look amazing because it was against... You know what I mean? I think now that you've got, you know, Welbeck, um, you've, the, the owners to get you know goals I mean? at, at, on the midfield, it should be a bit less. No, Welbeck, so yeah. I have a question, does he... I don't even know, bro. Welbeck doesn't like being in the box that yeah. often. Oh, his run, his runs are so poor. <laughs> his runs are poor, bro. His runs are poor. I mean, I watched the Arsenal game. There was so many times you've got a ball with Cazorla, you've got Chamberlain. You've got, behind, you've got some, yeah, you've got someone just in front of the defenders, and you're waiting for Welbeck to make that run yeah. behind. Yeah. He's not doing that. And if you're a lone striker, it's like you should. That's be. a bit surprising because he did quite a lot of that against Galatasaray. So yeah, no, no, he no, no, did. No, 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 I was did. surprised. But it was a very bad. And he said this. And he said this. Yeah, he has to be one on one with the key player. Yeah, because I haven't watched many of their games. Yeah, you're right. What I'm hearing, I'm like, raw. Now do you know what? He had good performances. He had good performances against City. He had a good performance against Villa. He had a good, but I think he's had more good performances than bad. He's getting used to the game. This is a guy who's been dro- came out of one club and he's in the hot seat in a, of another club where you would want your team to you want your striker team to be embedded in slowly and surely. Do you know what I mean? I think I think like he got thrown in the deep end quick and he has to make an impact quick. And he will get his goals, but give him time. He's twenty three. So I think he's got three, three or four goals or something like that. But one against Villa. One against Villa. He got three against Galatasaray. That's four. He got one against. Uh, what about in the prem? How many is he scored in the prem? I think. Oh, in the prem. Really, I think it's like I think one. It's one. Yeah. Speaking of goals, did he Drogba scored more goals than Radamel Falcao this season? And Eden Zeko. When this season? Yeah. Hasn't Falcao scored this season? He's, he scored against Everton. Drogba scored one. three. Oh. Three Premier League goals? No, three goals. in the, He oh, scored one in the League Cup, one in the League, and he, one he in the Champions League. He had to go to all competitions. Yeah. 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 He had to go to all competitions. Drogba's only started no, one no, league no, game. No, 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 what I'm saying Drogba's is... No, no, but you, you, you wanted to read it because he's played all competitions. one league game. He's played about the same amount of games as Falcao. Nah, he's played... Falcao's played more. Falcao's played more. There we go. There we go. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I mean, look, three points for Arsenal. You know, top five now. It's so it's 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 amazing what can happen because last week I think Liverpool. <laughs> but where's Woodcock going? Liverpool and Tottenham <laughs> were above Arsenal, <laughs> yeah. and now Arsenal are above them. Yeah, where's the, the Walcott, gap between bro? free Walcott? Crazy. Yeah. Where's Walcott? Walcott slowly, slowly. Oh, Wenger's not rushing him in. Don't tell me that. I don't even. Bro. I don't even want to see him. I, I only want to see him play like ten minutes against Burnley. Don't Just don't bring him in that, slowly. Bro. I think I think he'll definitely be ready for like end of November, isn't bro. it? Yeah, like I think his first start will be against United. Nine months, bro. This is a joke, bro. His first start will be against United. No, but David, you know is you don't want to you don't want to say six months, and other six months you, you bring my knee. Bring him in, right? and then, no, no, and then no, his, knees, his knees his knees up in the yeah. air. You hear what Benga says? <laughs> Benga says a player could be out three to four weeks, so let's say four weeks. You know what I'm saying? He just so wait, <laughs> the last time Play- Theo Walcott played football was when he was doing that two 0 thing against West Ham. Literally, I mean, against Tottenham, Tottenham. Tottenham. It was January the fourth. That was ages ago. I remember exactly the day because it was quite a, an event that day. But yeah, January fourth was the last time he played a game for Arsenal. So you you got, you got to bring them in slowly, man. You can't can't be out that long and, just, and tur- turn up. Yeah, FA Cup. We're in November. We're in November. FA Cup third round. We're in November. Real talk, homie. Real talk. In high school, you <laughs> was you know the what, man. Benjamin, oh. David, Arsenal, Burnley this weekend. What, do you think it'll be? You know, we're at home. We're at home. Oh, we're at home. Bang them, bro. No, I think all your wrath has to go yes. on, on. But on I think we perform better away this season. Guys, Burnley are looking for their first win. They're going to be throwing everything at us. Burnley beat us. Sorry, Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Ooh. Ooh. Danny. Hey, if Burnley beat us, bro. Nah, no, bro. Not, Burnley are win that game. Burnley are not win the game away from home. Listen, listen. No, 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 I have no. seen this is the rhythms of the Premier League. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> really. no. Honestly, I'm with you. No, 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 no. I'm with you. I'm with you. But, but I have seen bro. funnier things. <laughs> That's just honestly, I, Arsenal. No, no, no. It's not even about not reading Arsenal, bro. It's just the Prem, bro. The Prem is, is the just. Prim. It's a weird league. <laughs> listen, as long as Arsenal getting three points for me, that's what matters at the moment. I don't care how we do it. I couldn't care if we if Burnley score one goal on the weekend. That's that, that was my stance against Chelsea. I was like. Ref, do your thing. I, I, I want three points. I'm not even going to argue with I your want. wrong decisions. Just, just United get get a, a, a point here, bro. Wenger knows he has to buy in January. We'll wait for January to come and we'll see what happens. But you know, who, who, who knows? Um, By the way, rumor. Yes. Rumor report. Rumor report. Well done. <laughs> Pedro has handed in a transfer request at Barcelona. I don't know why. And I think it's because of Suarez. I don't know who's going to buy Pedro. Yeah. And apparently, you guys. No, 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 no. This is the rumor. 
not going anywhere near yeah. Pedro well, needs that, to stay fact, in Spain. The fact that, that Campbell has been sitting on our bench. Bro, I mean, Podolski barely gets games. Tries. Dude. Like <laughs> Pedro is not coming. Because the money is how much? And the wages are how much? It'll probably much? be about 20, yeah. 25. Take that twenty five. No, Pedro will probably be about twenty five. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, no way he's worth it. I agree no with you. Worth but no and way. the wages will be extra. No, no, no I think. I and think, the thing is, I like I think, Pedro. You know, I'll be, I'll be honest. I didn't like I Pedro. think Navas is a better player than Pedro, and he, he looks. He, he's more threatening to me than Pedro is. Pedro, is Pedro does get a few goals in his first but, season. When, when is it? Twenty eleven. Yeah, he was hard. David Villa. was hard. After that, he was hard. He shut down shot, but anyway. <laughs> down, bro. Oh man, just when just talk just about defensive issues bro. with Sunderland. What about um, Tottenham uh, at home to, to Newcastle? Shout Newcastle. out to Sammy Abiobi. I don't know what I don't understand. Six seconds ago, I don't it was a vine. It was a vine. I don't understand. It was a vine. It was a vine. It was actually a vine. Oh man, what is going on? You know on? when it's a vine. It was weird because watching the uh, the highlights of it, it was a, like two halves. Like Tottenham, yes. first half was all yeah. Tottenham. They should have wrapped it up, and then second half was all Newcastle. Yeah, so apparently, Pardew gave Newcastle a, a near for at half time, and, so and it worked. Yeah, it so was, it, um, it did something. Man made some so, subs yeah. and a couple subs, and you know, boom, six seconds. It was, nah, it was totally pants, bro. Uh, what, what is going on? They're in the bottom half, half of the table. Time. Man, try blame the pitch. You know? Yeah, I, I read that today, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I thought, wow. So the pitch is too tight. The pitch is too small. I mentioned that on the um on when I when we were watching the game that um defending at Tottenham's. Uh, defending at um, Tottenham pitch because it's smaller, it's easier. So if you're ever like trying to like, park the bus and stuff, it should be. Easier. You can't see counter attacks in that pitch mm. for some reason. It just looks too small. Like even Chelsea small, yeah. pitch, I don't see counter attacks too tough. But uh, Chelsea pitch is big. Unless people. Yeah, it's all right. So it's bigger. It's bigger than Tottenham. I mean, it's, it's Tottenham. Ooh, you, you forget the time. I feel like Tottenham's is longer, but I think Chelsea's is wider, yeah, so yeah. it could equal out the same. But I feel like Tottenham's a bit longer. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, to <laughs> pants, bro. I mean, who's, who's in their back four again? Who? Well, I know Dyer's there. Kabul's the captain. Dyer, Kabul. That, that me is Ooh. where you Vitalman start. Vitalman played. Say that again? Vitalman played. Yeah, I'd... Wait. Yeah. <laughs> so he's there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they have Fazio, they signed him. Um... He got a red card in the City game. Rose is there, so. but I no, the, from if you mention Danny Rose, though, you're not mentioning a player. <laughs> I know. You're I'm, mentioning. I'm just trying to figure the names. Is as Walker well. back? <laughs> is Carl Walker back? Or is Danny Rose joking? is all right. Danny Rose is pants. He's garbage. Danny oh, Rose is pants. Come on. Danny he's Rose is good. pants. Has he got some pace? He's, he's got some. He's got some pace. He's he's got some pace. Again, uh, wing backs who have pace. He's not making. And don't be thin. But you need you need pace to deal with fast wingers. He's not making many left left back positions in the league. Disgusting. You need and pace to deal really. with. No, he's so here. rubbish, though. <laughs> he's not that bad. <laughs> he's rubbish. <laughs> Danny Rose's I pants. I mean, I'd have him as a backup. He's not that bad. Danny Rose is poor, bro. Danny Rose for England. Poor, bro. Ericsson needs to 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 go. I think Ericsson should have never gone to Tottenham. No, no, no. People are people are think Ericsson's a really good player, but he hasn't done it in Tottenham. Bro, we can't look at him and say, pads, bro. <laughs> no, but we can't look at him and say, bro. oh, he needs to come, <coughs> he needs to come out there, he there because he's the outstanding team, player. Bro. He's not the outstanding Oscar, Oscar player. Oscar he doesn't have that many assists. Bro, he's, bro. It's not what like Bale at Tottenham. We looked at Bale and we said what Bale needs to get out there because he was the but best player. But you know player. what the contradiction we said last there. week is that not one t- new co- Tottenham ain't buying a new Newcastle player. But I'm sure they would have taken a couple on Sunday. I looked at the title and I thought, we might have to eat our words. We might have to just delete that title. But you know. Um, <laughs> to, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, because the title was basically that, you know, Tottenham ain't buying no Newcastle players for their team. But that's basically what we discussed. Yes, Tottenham lost at home so to Newcastle. You know, to Newcastle. But I think their away record has always been better than their home, I think. I think Tottenham's one of them teams that have not been that great at home. But I feel like they surprised away. But um, anyway, um, at least they got a goal, which Liverpool failed to do on the weekend against Hull at home. And that was nil nil. We love Hull. Um, you, do. you know, what's happening in Liverpool? Oh, their team is pants, bro. Let's, no, they like, let's... Poor, as in, they bought poor. Rationally thinking, what, what's happened at Anfield? They're what went wrong? I think it's, it's or is it wrong? Am I, am I just stepping the thing a bit too early? Is it too early in the season? Is it because I think it's a bit early. You know? I think so, it's so two things. It's early in the season yeah. so because they're, they're now back in the Champions League. Yeah. So now no. they have to deal with more. Signings no, four, to me bro. that Champions That's League. What I think that to me that Champions League thing is complete rubbish. It's rubbish, bro. It's That's complete it's rubbish. It's I think four, four, Gary Neville, Gary Neville, and Jamie Carragher were saying that the whole Europa League Champions League thing is a mental 
Drugs. Do you know what though? City haven't won a game since they've won a champion since they had a Champions League game in midweek, and whenever they come to the weekend, they don't win the game. Man, but don't you think? No, as a, see, a, as no, a you don't count City. City are having a man. Be, be bro. Honest, like, be, City, but if have City are having a man, what are Liverpool having then? Man, just more, nah. better, more. No, they're not. They're not <laughs> because <laughs> because because when you look at it, yeah. Liverpool overachieved last season. Man City underachieved and won the league. Do you get what I mean? So it's like. We expect more from City because they're City better players. I think City achieved. No, yeah, City I, achieved. Achieved. I think City but achieved. C- City, think City achieved? had the best team last, last season yeah, and they, they should have won it before they won it, is my I, point. I get his point there because... They should have won it before yeah, they won it. Yeah, but I thought because Liverpool were so good, it brought but competition. But you see, the thing is, I think... I think it's Arsenal were top of the league for a long time. No, but the thing is, I'm with David in the sense where I think we always over-esteem City because of the team they have on paper. But if you actually watch City, they have so many mistakes in that team, bro. In my opinion, it's, it's, it's just like, sometimes even the fact that people like Milner don't play. Do you see what I'm saying? I, th- I think no, the, the, Milner does play, though. He's played a lot this season. No, he plays Champions League games. He's played a lot this season. Yeah, th- yeah this in season, Pellegrini's discovering that he's, yeah, got, right. he's got a player in Milner. Do you see what I'm saying? I think, I think City as a team, I just feel like they're well, not... As a club. They're mad, bro. <laughs> as a club? Yes. <laughs> How do you win the league and then you flop again? Like, but who, who wins the league back to back? How Man, often does that happen? Man United, Man United, United. Time, and the second season they always come close. They're there or they're about. Last, bro, this is twice, bro. Come on, I Liverpool, know. Liverpool, know. wrong signings. I think the first time you know, when City was it 2013 when they lost the league, yeah. Mm. I think that time you could say, yo, bro, you know, make no, a mistake, it was their first whatever. Time, you know what I mean, cool. mistake, whatever. After Even that year, they should have won the league. They should have won the league that year, guys. but they were they, that they were a team. They, they were like because that year they, they had so the best team in the league in terms of on paper. I don't think they even bought anyone. I swear it's the same team as the year no, before. Yeah, exactly. they did. They did. They, 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 exactly. they, they won the league and kept the same team. Kept and same everyone team. was like, you "Oh, you got, you got yeah, strength." Yeah, and that was people because they signed Rodwell and, and Sinclair, and they thought, "Well, you don't strengthen your team like that. You strengthen it with the Mangalas and whatever." But. I mean, that 32 was, million. First games. 32 and, uh, million is what he has to play. So, you know, 32 he has to play. Yeah, then got, look at Nastasic and bring him to the Emirates. That's all I'm saying. So put that I, think, I, think, I think Juventus... Yeah, but it's, it's always going to ta- always gonna take time from a, for a defender coming from outside the Premier League Definitely. to settle in, especially centre back. It, it does take it's just, time. It's just Defenders is the hardest position to embed a player in your, in your team. Mm. And uh, you look at everyone's defence this season. Who's got the best defence this season? Hmm. Exactly, uh, defenders oh, is hard. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Chelsea conceded three at Everton, conceded two at home with uh, was it Leicester or Swansea? Swansea, Swansea. Um, Swansea. Um, I think in the top four, it's probably Southampton. It's not been easy. It's not been easy. I'm, I'm just speculating. So, and Southampton, who's Southampton, who's Southampton, who's Southampton, who's in the middle. Uh, on, yeah, Southampton. Who, on, who, who have Southampton Rashida. really faced? Like, but to be fair, a game, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to say that Southampton have had. had yeah, but you still, you still got to give it to a team defensively. True, true, true. Southampton are second in the league. You bring up Southampton, they are second in the league. Sorry about that, Liverpool. We didn't even talk much, but... I'm tired. It's the same story every week. But that's how you got his first Lam- goal. Lam- Lambert, bro. Are yeah. you crazy? I was right. Southampton have conceded five goals. Top man. Yeah, yeah. Um, Southampton conceded five. I think they've had about four clean sheets or something like that. Um, uh, Chelsea's conceded uh, nine. City have conceded 10. West Ham have conceded 12. Yo, man, you hmm. Arsenal. Hefty, dog. I mean, we probably conceded well, about 12. Top four, innit? Five. Two. 11. <laughs> conceded about, yeah. Swansea City 10, Liverpool 12, United 30, yeah. Southampton 1 0, wasn't as entertaining as it was last week, but um, still got, got a point. result. Did they beat? Uh, they beat Stoke, Stoke, Stoke at Stoke. home 1 0. Yeah, looking good. You know, all those, all those signings that they've got coming into the team, gelling, gelling well. Man like Mane. Tadic. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, They took his yeah, goal, you know. I, I was upset, bro. Did, man. Oh. Yeah, no, they did. But anyway, um, this is coming, yeah. I want to know who they are. Second in the league, <laughs> Southampton. Are we? Is it possible to give them a European spot? Yes, no. I don't think so. Remember last no. season, they they were around. What was it? The top four quite mm-hmm. early on in the season. Yeah. Then they finished eighth. And I just think it's the same thing again. Everton. You reckon they finished eighth? Were they in the same top thing. four in, in in October? I think so. at the end of October. It started very well. They were very very good. They were very very good. I remember. I remember last season. It was after the whole game at home when they won three one and Lallana scored one of the best goals of the season. And I remember that's when Southampton. I think it was four one. Yeah, I think it was. They were on top at that time, and I was like, yeah, this Southampton team. I mean, congratulations to them. We'll win some. We'll get some wins. You know, Liverpool. Will be Everton seem a bit league, too. Bro, Oscar bro, was saying this morning, hot and cold. It's like they give you a good game one week, they, they do very bad. That's all. I don't think that they will be in the top five next this season. 
I just they'll not with seven. that form. I think they'll be in Europe. Though. Probably. I think they'll be in Europe. Possibly. No, but I, 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 who I, I, take I, out from last season? Then? No, but it depends what we're talking about. Because they could win Capital Tottenham. One, they could win the FA Cup, stuff like that. Good goal. Are uh, Everton still in the Capital One? No. Yeah. I don't know if they played yesterday. If not, they would. If they're playing today, okay. Depends. But but see, you see what I mean about like Capital One's just played. Swansea played Liverpool yesterday. Yeah. So does that mean that on the weekend Swansea are going to go on and and have a tough game because they played midweek? Yeah, no, depends. no, no. No one's saying it's an squad, automatic squad loss. It's just saying that it's an effect. It depends what the squad is. It depends how big their squad is. Mm. Is that because who? That, that's that's. If when I look at things like that, that's what makes me feel who like. The game mm. today, so like because Liverpool, 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 Liverpool the Swansea are away at Everton this weekend. Oh, that's tough. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's tough games. Football is football. No, no, no. <laughs> we're we're yeah. just saying that that playing midweek has an effect. It doesn't mean you will lose all win. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but people people often say people often use it as in oh you're going Liverpool are poor because they're in the Champions League. It's like Liverpool are poor because their team's poor. They're human beings. Think about like this if you're playing in Russia one night yeah, night you know, on a Wednesday and you've got to come home the next day and train then you've got to train Friday you might get a break but you need to do some sort of training if you've got a game Saturday morning City had it very unlucky they had a 12.45 after a Champions League game away from home and then they had to go to London do you get what I mean they can't have not touched Man City, Manchester at one point so although it might be three or four days the fact that your body physically needs to adapt. But even then, they've got the squad depth to rotate and be like, okay, yeah. you guys play Champions League, we'll add in a few players who actually didn't. And then yeah, put you, so teams but, like some Chelsea, are, but some of them are not game-winning players. You see, you see the thing so with City? So Pellegrini's probably going to look at Teams like, like Chelsea and City have no real excuse. The thing with City, though, is... Who think, is because depth, depth is Because right. the importance is this. They need to win the Premier League game, but they also need to win the Champions League game. So which game is more important? And that's the sticky situation they're in. Like Liverpool. They're in a they're sticky they're situation. They've got to go to the Bernabeu next week. They played. I, up, they played how many minutes yesterday? I, I saw. I saw Gerard on the pitch. Was it, was it extra time they went to? It went to extra I know. Time, it, it was very late on. I don't. I don't know if it was extra time. It was a very late game. Do you know what I mean? And then who? I can't remember who they got this weekend. I'll have a look. But you know, then they got to go to the Bernabeu the following the, the, the following Wednesday or Tuesday yeah, after. Fun, I mean, that, that's that's not. And then, and, and then Chelsea. And they're away at Newcastle on Saturday, twelve forty-five. I think. I think, I think the yesterday. only big deal after, about after, it after is that the Newcastle training. Game, I think it's Chelsea on on, on, yeah. on that following weekend. I think mm-hmm. from a training aspect, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a difficult idea because, for example, if I'm I've got my players and we're training and we're training on a Monday, we're yeah. training for the game that's on next Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. All our focus, all our tactics are for facing who, we, who we've got to face Liverpool on Sunday. But then Liverpool are facing Real Madrid on Wednesday and then they're facing us on Sunday. So they're all focused on Real Madrid right the, now. What about the physicality? Do you know what I mean? Is more the, the, the issue there. I don't think it is. That's my point. Because teams have played League Cup this week and the physicality is not really going to affect Wait. them on, on the weekend. We've got to see. Let's find out. We'll see. The people that played this And it's happened in the past. Game. I remember when Liverpool played Ludogrets. That was the first time in the game and they went on to lose, I think, against Villa the next, the next week. Both games were at home. Exactly. Yeah. That one, I, I, I agree with you exactly. there. Exactly. And everyone was like, there. oh, it's Champions League. They can't handle Champions League. <laughs> it's like, teams play League <laughs> Cup. Midweek. United yeah. played uh, MK Dons really on a Tuesday and then played on a Sunday. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, is there really an excuse? Yeah. Just when they need to, because Man United. No, I think it depends the game and, 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 and the time double. and the travel. Other teams have done double. But I also, I also, I, but I also look at the players for five years, bro. Exactly, you Liverpool. Have, complain, bro. Liverpool need to adapt, though, and that's the thing. Neville puts I'll, that I'll, point I'll, out I'll, very I'll well. I'll give you an example. Um, um, someone asked Martin as a question about, you know, do you think it's going to be tough to be in the Europa League this season? He said, "Listen, if you want to be a big team, you can't complain about these things. If you want, if you want to become a top four team." Then you go, you roll with the punches, bro. If you got a game on Thursday, you play on Thursday. You go to Lille. You go to who, who did Tottenham play the other week? I don't know what that team is, but they're gonna have to go to wherever that team is from. They play against Bologna, 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 but I think game. once they once they conceded the first goal, I think it was all right. Madrid then they started to put the pressure on. Yeah. Was that was that unlucky that penalty? PK's one. Um, he's handballed. Nah, he handballed. He yeah. handballed over there. No, because he because he because he, 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 he slipped. He, he slipped, didn't he? He does, but you can move your hand. Is it? Yeah. You could. Because if you move your, you, if you like, move, that's, that's like the ball was like his child. No, because no, because if you, you know, if, no, if you move your hand, your fault is a part of your body that you don't want to fall on the floor. It's falling on the floor, bro. That's how, that's how I'm looking at it. Like, oh, is that just that's a very lucky... poor attempt to tackle. If you, get, if you think about this, if you've attempted to tackle, you go to the ground and your hand has touched the ball, where were your legs? So, to me, it's, like, it's almost like the Ivanovic thing. He didn't mean to tackle Di Maria, but it's still a foul. 
the same way. He didn't mean to handball it at all, but it's still a handball. Look at that. Look at that. He didn't the get other, a red card for that. The other team yeah, deserves. Yeah, but it's, it's different. I know, different he, league, I know, different I know he didn't get a red card. Because my argument has always been, I hate penalty decisions. That's what I can really say about that. Every penalty decision is a red card. No, but you know, with referees, it's just up to their own discernment, bruv. Like, for them, it's just what I think on the day. Because, but, yeah, a lot of us are, are taught to think that the rules are concrete. This is a foul, this is not. Sure, sure. But it's very open to interpretation and that's what the referees do. They, they yeah. Each referee is different and it's, it's the unfair. Day, I, would, I would hate those goalkeeper decisions where, where the goalkeeper tries to... It's like one versus one and then the goalkeeper just goes like that yeah, and they yeah. keep the ball away and they go... R- over remind me of the goal scorers. It was, ben, it was uh, Pepe, Ronaldo, I can't remember the other one. Benzema. Benzema. Uh, Benzema's had that's three goals in a week. A really good goal. As three well. goals in a week for Benzema. Benzema. He's he's doing well this season. He's proved himself that he can actually put the ball in the net and plays well in the good teams. And it's a massive team that Real Madrid team is. To be the number nine of that team. Oh, Real Madrid's team looks quite good. They look quite impressive. And the thing is, yeah, I I, I was I was even saying earlier yeah, that defensively, I, I worry. They they don't have a recognized DM. Yeah, but they're I doing well. Why is, why is Kidnero on the bench though? I think it's because they're just preparing him to, to to leave. Contract. I think they're just they're just like you, you're, you're leaving. That's cool. business, bro. And I, I think they'll snap up and try and get Tony Cruz out. I think I think, I think they'll, they'll get so and, and and Tony Cruz is playing. Once Perez doesn't, once Bank, you're out. The way that's not a DM though. That's the thing. Who? None of them are DMs. Yeah. In that yeah. Who do they play? That's a DM. Yeah. Once Perez yeah. doesn't, one of them are DMs. taking his spot. It was Javi Alonso who was your DM. He's the guy who protects. Then he went. He cut. He cut and he's still murking in Germany. Murking, bro. You know, so. And I think they've got Dortmund soon. Yeah, Dortmund mean. got their first win in about six, I think, in the league. So Dortmund good for them. Are they like 12 now? St. Pauli. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, but you know, we didn't talk about in the Champions League season has changed anymore. We did. Did we? I thought we did. What? The Champions League seed, how it's changing next season. I, yeah, we mentioned that last week. I told everyone. But I don't right. remember it in the pod now that you said that. I don't that. remember it saying <laughs> I said We talked about how it should change. How yeah, we, and how then we, I mentioned yeah. it, that it's going to change due to that it's now five and now they're going to base it on who's first, who's second. I don't think it changes anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it makes that, a difference. That has just made it the same thing it always has been. And that's oh, just... Only champions, the only said champions are in pot one. Yeah, champions of domestic leagues are now in pot one. And that's it. Yeah, whoever down Second place is in pot two. Third place. Is that how they pot, do it? Well, how else? Does Arsenal go to pot two or pot four if they finish we can't pot four? No, we can't. Well, you know, <laughs> what difference does that make? It means we're facing some a champion next season, as we do every season, more or less. And it might be a champion of a weaker league. league. So it it's gonna work out really harsh for some and, and really, really well good for others. For <laughs> so who knows, isn't it? <laughs> you know, so but um yeah, no. I imagine you get Real Madrid, Dortmund, us in one group. Yeah. Right, that's headache. It's interesting. <laughs> so, seeing as we're on La Liga, um, did you know that uh, Valencia finally was bought by uh, Peter Lin? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him. He bought Valencia for 320 million euros. And that's oh. apparently the second most expensive club in the world. Man United being first, as in to be bought. You know how you, the Glazers bought United, was it 500 yeah. million? The second highest has now been Valencia. Valencia, people. They might be back. They might be... We might see them in Europe. There, 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 was, there was even um, talk of um, Tom Cleverley going to Valencia in the, in the, <laughs> in the, in the, in the transfer window yeah. because, yeah. because, because they were looking to get new owners. So they, they've, got good, they've got good players. Valencia's team, by the way, this season, looking good. They're in the top four as well. Sevilla second. Sevilla second. Crazy. Sevilla second. So, you know. Barcelona um, winning, bro. Buffon tonight will make his 500th appearance uh, for Juventus. Well done. Wow. Big up Buffon, knowing that's not only his, that's not even his only club. His only club, yeah. <laughs> See, loyalty exists, people. Do you know who's number one though? He's he's only he's uh he's he's not he's not got the most appearances for Juventus. There's actually somebody higher than him. In Del fact, Piero. there's three players higher than him. Del Piero. But number one is Del Piero. Seven hundred and five games for Juventus. Uh, what Nebbet. did what did Giggs do for United? Six hundred. Um, I, 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 I was thinking. I was thinking of Champions nine, League because Champions League is like nine hundred and. And is it oh, including nine? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh, say it's 900. Yeah, I was going to say, if Giggs has done yeah, six, Giggs, Giggs has been what's Del Piero doing? Del Piero was playing when I was five then, or something. Because no, it, 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 it tie everything. Yeah, all competitions. Oh, okay. That's unbelievable. That's 900, isn't it? Sorry. Unbelievable. 900 and, and something. Unbelievable. But um, before we leave, sorry, let me jump back into the Premier League real quickly. We'll, we'll discuss team of the year, uh, sorry, team of the week, uh, player of the week, goal of the week. Um, and then we'll get into the Ballon d'Or stuff to, 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 and then obviously predictions to wrap up. 
But um, team team of the week this weekend. Who's been the most? Uh, which team has impressed you the most this weekend? West Ham. Performance wise. West Ham. West, West, West Ham. Good West shout. Ham. Um, West Ham. Any the other? Lions. Any other teams there? Any other teams that uh, people want to bring up? Uh, I think all the other wins seemed like just comfortable victories Routine. and things like Routine. that. Decent. But yeah, West Ham was the one that went above what yeah. you, you'd expect. Uh, I agree. West Ham. West Ham. Yep. West Ham. All voting West Ham. Something mm-hmm. nice for West Ham. Uh, We're blowing bubbles. <laughs> uh, player of the week. Is there a player in particular that really uh, impressed ooh. this weekend um, for 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 your side? I want. I would want to give it to Son. I was thinking Son. <laughs> I would actually so know. Know. Based on fantasy points, I give it to Sanchez. But you know, whatever. He's got twice. Yeah, whatever. but Sanchez was gifted too. Uh, was he scored right. twice. He still put him in there. No, <laughs> Do you see this missed that balance. No, 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 no. no, Gus Poyet <laughs> came to Sanchez's house and said, "Here, hey, look." Uh, have you heard his accent? I think Gospel's accent is so great. It's so great. They've been awful, but before that, they were not doing so bad. They lost at home to QPR. Bedrin, they've been quite bad. Oh, 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 player of the week, Charlie Austin. How about it? That was Two goals as well. That was a finish. Two goals. The first goal was a finish. Yeah. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with Villa either. I don't know if it's just like what five. Um, I, mean, about five so so well. I, I read the stat. There's a five in the five. Nothing um, flash. That was it called that um, Aston Villa have not scored. Uh-huh. Leeds, Leeds and Watford wait. have had. Leeds, I think it's. Uh, ah, I think it was, was it. Ah, how many managers? <laughs> was, ah, yes, yes, six, yes. Managers I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're like, talking about. Wow. Leicester, Leeds and Watford have had five managers since Villa last scored a goal. That's yeah. unbelievable. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's right, madness. Right, yeah. Leeds are the madness. So what? Who's going, who's going ahead? Of, Sanchez or Austin? Why is Sanchez even in there? He scored twice. It's, the same thing as Austin. Austin. Song, yeah, but it's not just... Like, you're about the same. Of the week, or For me, I just scoring song, twice. Hey, give me another player. You think he's a song? I wanted I'm to give it to Fellaini. No, 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 I, no I, I thought Fellaini would be biased. That's why I didn't say it. I, I, I brought Come my on. player. I brought I'm Fellaini. Because he, 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 did you see his second goal? He kept saying that. Did you see his second goal? Sorry, song, not today, not today. And Dimitri, not today. It's not. For me, it's between Song and Charlie Austin. That's, no, 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 no. Ahead of Fellaini and, Fellaini. and Sancho. Fellaini did well, but Fellaini did well against... Like, Fel- Do you know like, what? Chelsea were important great. to the game yeah. because no, of how no, big the game Chelsea. was. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna Song was against City. I'm gonna throw Chelsea. Song, Song won against City. No, no, Fellaini I'm, drew I'm, against Chelsea. No, no, I'm not arguing against Alex Song. I'm just saying that the reason why Fellaini jumps in is because he did it against Chelsea. The league leaders. I don't think Fellaini was that great. Was Fellaini even man of the match? He wasn't. Courtois man of the match. Yeah, hence why I threw Courtois as well. I, 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 like, Fellaini, it seems a bit of a shock to me. Like, he had a good game. Right, he wasn't vote. playing a week. Charlie Austin, Sanchez, Fellaini, Courtois, or who's the other one? <laughs> Song. 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 Oh, You're saying uh, Song. No, 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 no. Like, that's a lie. So yeah. I'll give it to what's his name. Song. <laughs> It's not song, my shout, man. Go on. Definitely. Uh, who, who did you say again? I forgot. Jesus. No, Maybe. you have to know the, your, your, your player. <laughs> you have to know who you think was the best player. <laughs> no, I've got the options, man. I was thinking who for the best. Give me your name. Who do you think is the right. Vote for your best player now. I'll give it to Courtois. Courtois? Fellaini. Fellaini? Song. 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 What? Well, Sweat <laughs> down. Sweat down. Anyway, alright. Cool. Dimitri Song. <laughs> he gets it. Goal of the week. And he came sensible. <laughs> Goal of the week. Nothing for <laughs> Nothing for um, Goal of the week. David Samuel. David Silva. I like. Ooh, David Silva. David Silva. Oh, David yeah, yeah, yeah. David Silva. <laughs> he wins it for me. David Silva's goal was fantastic. Who else is that there? What, what about the dink from Sancho? Etto, Etto, nah, Etto, you know, I have to give it to Etto. He tickled it. Sancho's finish was naughty, I already like. He tickled it. Nah, nah, Etto stood. I ain't gonna lie, was Etto better than Silva's? Nah. I think Silva's better. I think Silva's better. Silva went through two players, didn't he? Silva went in and out of man. No, no, Etto, no, Etto stood. No, 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 but Etto stood though. No, no, but Silva Etto stood and did this. No, 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 Silva don't. Silva had a doppie two man. And he banged it. Silva doppie two man, man. Etto, Etto, if Messi scores that goal, if Ronaldo scores that goal, it's front page. It's front page. It is front page on the top four podcast. And it's a front page on the top four podcast. David Silva. David Silva. Sammy Wedlong. Let's do it, let's do it, because some people are undecided. What? Man them don't agree still. All right, who are you saying? I David Silva. Yeah. Robin. David Silva. Oscar. David Silva. <laughs> David Silva. Okay, go on, Ed is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Silva. Silva. Silva, indeed. <laughs> right? Ballon d'Or, let's talk. All right, first of all, Bad before we get into this, wait there, wait there. 
Managers of the year shortlist. Can I ask why is Van Howe in the shortlist? Why? Why, why? was Del Bosque oh, wow. Del Bosque there in 2012? Good when, question. Just I've I've always asked this. Why do managers why that manage for two Hull months there? get for in, me, get into the shortlist? It's unbelievably Ancelotti. I don't even know anyone who there is near no Ancelotti debate. this season. There is no in debate. In the last calendar year, he's won the Champions League. In what? He's won the Copa del Rey. Guys, 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 guys. guys. We're, we're forgetting there. Diego Simeone. Diego I think yeah, but what? No, no, no. Diego Simeone won the league. Let's go retreat. When Chilotti came in his first season and won the 10th Champions League. I hear that, but look at the team he had. No, no, no. Diego Simeone is a big point. It's a big point. Look how much money he spent. Look at the team he had. He is in there. No, listen. Well, I'm not saying to win. Those are, We're not saying to win. No, no, no. Right, those, those two are the top two this season. No, 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 no. Simeone's no, 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 top no, one. No, no, no. What, no, what he said. That would put it hands what, they went to the final of the Champions League. league. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, no, if Simeone no. gets to the final and wins it, oh, then it's there. Hold on. Reload. 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 Do you know why I agree with Oscar? Simeone did it with a weaker team. A much weaker team. Went to the Champions League final and won La Liga, beating Barcelona and Real Madrid. It's harder to win the league I'm than it is to win the Champions League. Simeone. You lot can vote. I'm going <laughs> it's, hard, it's harder to win La Liga than it is to win the Copa del Rey and the Champions League. And Chilotti came in his first season. And spent what? 86 what million, million on Gareth Bell. What about Wacky Lowe? He spent all Bell. He spent all Bell. He spent all Bell. He spent all Bell. He had the players. He had the players. Wacky Lowe. Wacky Lowe. Wacky Lowe. Wacky Lowe. One world cup. Do you know who manages that? Like, he won the, he really won the world cup. Do you know who has the world cup? That's like the biggest stage of all time. Like, with Angelo, yeah. my thing is that he's a great man. I know I'm going on to you. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, go, no, go, go, go for it. With, yeah. um, with Angelo, he's a good manager already. And he's, he's won the Champions League you know, before. He's done all that kind of stuff. And with Real Madrid, he's got such a good team. He comes in there. Is it that much to go? I mean, I know Mourinho took three years. Mourinho, it took him three years to do that kind of stuff. Just to get to the semi-final. Yeah. Continue. But this is what you're saying. But Just, if, if a man does it in a season, though. No, but, but he's got Real Madrid. It's yeah. his point. So his my point, point is, is look at the team. team. Yeah. But in general, look at the team. They'll, they'll bounce. The, the, the least they'll get there, they'll get through is the semi final anyway. So he just went one step further than Mourinho. I just think. <laughs> and where did they finish in the league? Where did Real Madrid finish in the league? And won two cups. I'm going to lie. And won two cups. I'm going to lie. Simeone for me is. Real Madrid yeah, why, yeah, why team. got third and won two cups. I thought you would rate Simeone more because I no, no, I like Simeone. Like, like, no, no, I like Simeone. He's going based on, 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 on no, success. It's, it's not about what you've won. won. It's not about what you've won. It's not about what you've won. You've it's done. about the and team that you've well had and what you've done with that team. So how can how can Joaquim Low get get a shout then? He won the World Cup. He won the World Cup though. Exactly. Have you seen his team? Have you seen his team? Have you seen his team? I Oscar didn't say that. I didn't even say that. That's what I'm saying. He's got the Oscar never said that. Oscar never said that. Oscar, I, I brought up Wacky Lowe. Oscar, 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 I think it's more of an achievement. He's going on based on the performances of what you've had, of what you've got, no, who made the yeah. best of what Look, they had. Yeah. That's on like August the 1st, you look at your you're team. Who, well for what yeah, Clinton USA. got there for that's USA. Why, yeah. That's why I think it's, it depends. No, I'm so shocked Brendan Rodgers is not on that list. I think that's a joke. Oh, he's not. He got Brendan, Liverpool to second in there, the Premier Brendan League. But I think Van Gogh with what he did with Netherlands, because the Netherlands weren't... The, the team they Listen, took there was what Van, what Brendan Rodgers did with Liverpool was unbelievable. Who, who did Netherlands beat in the World Cup that we thought was a big deal? Spain. 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 In the first no, no, game. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 who else? else? Five, and then? And then? Brazil. They didn't beat Brazil. Yes, they did. Oh, in that game. Third place. You should have played that game. Yeah, you should have played that game. You should have played that game. You should have played that game. Okay, so why can't Germany get that shot then for winning seven against Brazil? No one cares. It is. I think it's that's why you're coming. No, but he won the World Cup. That's why he's there. But no one's mentioning him. I'm not saying anyone should mention him. I'm not saying I'm not mentioning Van Hal because of that. No, no one's mentioning him. No, 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 no. I said Van. No, no. I'm explaining you to the reasons why he's there. I'm not saying that they're valid. I'm just trying to explain to you why he's there. Everyone, 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 pick your top three. Everyone, pick your top three. I think that's the best way. Top three managers of the past year, and then one winner. But where's the, where's the, what's the I'm going to say Yacon. Uh, no, yours. Your past is I'm saying Yacon. I'll, I'll say the list. You lot. Let him say the list first. I'll say the list. Ancelotti, um, Antonio Conte, good shout, because he's what? he's the manager of Italy and Juventus. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, Pep Guardiola. Um, and then you've got Jurgen Klinsmann, Joachim Lowe, Jose Mourinho. I don't know why he's doing that. <laughs> Alec Manuel yeah. Pellegrini. That's a good shout. Um, uh, Sabella. Who's this one? The Argentinian manager. Um, Diego Simeone. And Louis Van Gaal. And Louis Van Gaal. So, right. 
So you're asking what's what's our top three, and then we have to. Uh, yeah, because everyone's jumping in and saying our top food, three. Like, loads this, of okay, cool. My top three is right. Ancelotti, uh, Diego Simeone, and Wakim Lowe because he won the World Cup. But my number one would go to. They're gonna go for low, eh? No, low Spurs. Um, hmm. Ancelotti yeah. only because he did it in his first year, but that's it. Ancelotti, no, but Oscar, yeah, beats no, I get Diego you. I get you. Simeone. Only because it's his first year. No, but he's not, it's not that's that clear. For me. That's preposterous. It's not that clear. For me. It's preposterous. It's only because it's his first year. Yes, bro. Um, hey, bruv. Let, let's let's all change the okay. um, From the shortlist, I'll say, oh, well, you might, uh, I'll say Simeone. I'll say Klinsman for what he's done with USA over the, the time that he's been there. Um, Who are you saying? Uh, Klinsman. 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 And, um, America. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll put Ancelotti's How name in there. How did he man? Because <laughs> they were just they were just South Africans. You not you not don't, don't rep America. <laughs> no, and, um, and first, like, yeah, I have to say Simeone for what he did with Atletico uh, Madrid over the year. Um, you know, but I just think I think I'm I get you know the achievements definitely from Ancelotti winning yeah. the Champions League yeah. in his first year and whatnot, but it, it doesn't seem that big for me. It doesn't seem that big because it's it's Real Madrid. I, I know it take, you have to still manage them, but you've got such. Quality, you got Bale, you got Ronaldo, you got. Can, I, can, I, can I continue why? Why I think that's right. Do you know why as well? The only reason why I'm continuing on because Lando's based on the on the calendar year. Yeah. His tra- his transfers this season are exceptional, and then he's gone and beaten Barcelona just the other weekend. So his team this year looks better than Barcelona already this season, and that's why I'm including that because this season uh, Diego Simeone hasn't done too well. In fact, he was suspended for about eight games, seven games. And that, but that was all for the Champions League. But that has to be part of it. No, to, to be the best. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the calendar year. So what have you done from January? You're, you're and Chelsea you has won two cups since January, bro. Discipline, you're disciplined. No, yeah. You're yeah. disciplined. Yeah. Right. Well, he's won one. He's yeah, won he's won one. won one, but he's been exceptionally yeah, unbelievable. And I, I think from what you talk with Atletico Madrid, I think that's the people that you had no idea. Because this season, he won the league. But Atletico won the league this calendar year. I know, but I'm talking about this season, too. Yeah, but that's a small part. We've only played it 10 is. games. It is, but with the 10 games, I can oh, give you an evaluation. Nah, nah, nah. You're looking at the best team in Europe. Not for me. Are they not? So. Oh, no, no I mean, right I mean not for me as, as in, in today. Not... You have to shut down the, the case. Who's the best team in Europe now? You wouldn't even say Bayern. <laughs> you'd nah, say you'd, yeah, I, I hear what you're you saying. Know what I'm saying? That's why. Because the transfer window was amazing. But, it's, it's still, I mean, it, fair, but they, they the build. best, it's not the best team. That's my point. The best manager. My point is the best, yeah, exactly. But his decisions were unbelievable. They they were. I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to not take anything away from Carlo Ancelotti. I'm trying to big up Diego Simeone and what I he did too, to win I'm the league. No, but look at his team. Look no, at the Oscar, team he season, had compared to Real Madrid's team. Season. That's what I'm saying. This, this season, season he's done nothing. Man. No, you can't Actually, do this season. You gotta do both. You can't yeah, do this season. You can't do this season. But it's not it's really because we're not doing it in December. Oh, we're not doing it in December though. Most of the votes will be What are we not doing in December? Because then, because then, oh, are we saying like it won't be? That's like saying that's like saying, oh, we're just gonna put like Ronald Koeman because Southampton have done so well this season. Where, where was Oscar, he in January? Oscar, let me ask you a question, though. Oscar, let me ask you a question. Where was he in January? Why should the Ballon d'Or only be from January to May then? I'm, That's not fair. No, no, I'm no, not no, saying once, that. My point is, this my point is, this season has just season. started. That's Some teams saying. go on a good run this season, many, and and you can months? lose your next three games. Hold and on, where's many, that good run? Months, you know what I mean? How many months is January to May? Huh? How many months is January to May? Five. How many months is August to December? Exactly. Yeah, but you don't play for three of those months in August if you're club managing a club. No, you don't play in August. You, you, five, you don't play you in July, June. Each side of the season. And the league starts in spring. When, no, when no. They, they, if anything, it's, it's a week. Late. It's like a week. Pete, we've just, we've just done October and September. So that's two months. But what I'm saying is the Ballon d'Or is awarded in December. Yeah? In January. Yeah. Yeah. Or even in January. Even more, yeah. more, more to the point. So the fact that you've still got another couple of months to go, yeah? It's it's you can't just say we're gonna dead this season. Right, then and wait till January. January. Yeah. Till it. No, no, yeah, no, but, no, but, no, 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 but the nominations have nomination come out. Like so then why are we talking about this season when this season's only a few games? Is my point. Because there's ten games, more or less ten games being played this season, you including you Champions League. I, I, I get it. Well, right, cool. All right, cool. Do, all right, we're gonna. Fair enough. Fair enough. Throwing this season. I get. I get. Many of our opinions will come from what happened last season. Yeah, I just go about this season. No, no, no. But we're not the ones voting. Do you remember? Do you remember? No, but the opinion is our opinion. Ancelotti the title. We're asking yeah. each and every one of us. I said that you should say Ancelotti because you won the Champions League. Yeah, but Bruh, David, you won David, two David, cups. David, what I'm saying is the reason why Ancelotti sneaked it. I'm not saying he's miles away, but because of this season two transfer window. Also, think about the money that Atletico got from Chelsea alone. 
And who's he got with that? Mandzukic to replace Costa. But you you got to look at the club he's in. He's he's in a club where he's forced to sell his best players. Yeah, but he's got the money then. So to so use the money wisely. Yeah, but if 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 um if but Ancelotti if Ancelotti, if Ancelotti was forced to sell Ronaldo, it's like it's like it's like, would, it's, it's, like Ron, it's like it's like, Ron, it's like Ronald Koeman with the ninety two M. You got the money now. Got the money Spend now. it. Don't tell me because you're yeah, actually spending. You can't buy no, no, because those weren't Ronald Koeman's players, so it's kind of different. But Ernest, sorry, when you said Simeone, yeah, yeah, Remy, sorry, Ernest, Ancelotti. Diego Simeone and yeah, Rakim Lowe. Rakim Lowe. And for me, Ancelotti wins it. Not by a mile, but he wins it. Oscar. Because he did the business. Um, I'll go Ancelotti, Diego Simeone, Simeone. And I really do want to put Brendan Rodgers in, but I think Yakim, Rakim Lowe gets it just for winning the World Cup. But <laughs> yeah, but I think Simeone is, yeah. is the I'm going to say Ancelotti, Ancelotti um, Yakim Lowe and Klinsman because mm-hmm. how much he did well in the World Cup and mm-hmm. Yakim Lowe because he's pre won the World Cup. Cup. Because Shout. it is the biggest competition in the world. I'm not going to argue with so, you. So, honestly. Every four years. Because Germany haven't won a World Cup in yonkers. It is yonkers. the biggest competition. That's a massive thing for them. Mm. True. David? I'll put Simeone, Ancelotti and Roy Hodgson. Hey. <laughs> and, and who wins it? Bad um, man. Of the three. <laughs> Roy Hodgson wins it. He's not even shortlisted. But, you know. <laughs> He's not even <laughs> So go on, yeah. Who, who is, what uh, a bad man. Who is your... Who is your um... Hey, Simeone, no. Diego, Diego, yeah? Bro. So by votes, I think Diego's got more than, than Ancelotti. Uh, uh, Unlucky. Uh, who did you say? Uh, it was three on three. I said... Uh, three, yeah. Yeah. No, only us two said Ancelotti. Who did you say is your... You I said Yakum Lowe. We both said, said Lowe. So uh, uh, in the, yeah. on the top four pod, Simeone wins it. Simeone wins it. How does he win it? Because three of you said it. Oh, he said... I didn't know you said Simeone. My bad. All right, let's go to the football actual Ballon d'Or itself. The nominees being Gareth Bale, uh, Karim Benzema, <coughs> Diego Costa, <coughs> Thibaut Courtois, yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. uh, Angel Di, Mur- Di Maria, okay. Mario Goetze, okay. Eden Hazard, Zlatan okay. Ibrahimovic, Andres Iniesta, Zlatan. Tony Cruz, Philip Lahm, Javier Mascherano, Lionel Messi, Mascherano. Thomas Muller. <laughs> he did it very well this year. Thomas Muller, um, Manuel Neuer, Ooh. Neymar, Paul Pogba. Sergio Ramos, Iron Robin, Iron Robin, James Rodriguez, Bastian Schweinsteiger, and Yaya Torre. Rodriguez shouldn't be on there. He had a good World Cup. There are a hundred names that shouldn't be on there. But, you know, they're shortlisted. Who, who, who's, the, who's the top three? Let's start, it's for the let's, start, let's start with David. Top three and the number one. Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. Di Maria. Messi though. That's a very I'm good question. Think, what, me, Messi last season was injured. Yeah. So I would third one. Just to I point out Suarez, 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 Suarez didn't make the short list. Just to let you know. Suarez didn't even make the short list. Which is I put Bell. Bell. You think you the Bell, 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 Bell Do you think Bell. the Ballon d'Or's against Liverpool this season? I no, Rogers. No, I think so. It's just the bite. No, it was the bite. It's just the bite. I think that's really what it was. It's fever as well. All right. It's fever cool. as well. Cool. Cool. Uh, Robin? Yeah. Sorry, who, do, who, who's your number one? Sorry. Uh, Ronaldo win it, hands down. Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Iron Robin, what's up? Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Di Maria. Di Maria. Mbola. Okay. I'll who's your number one? Di Maria. What? Crazy. I over Ronaldo. Over? Oh, crazy. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's, stop, stop. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Ooh. That's I, completely crazy. That's my shout out. Oh, that's that's my shout out. <laughs> Di Maria. Over to Ronaldo. To win it. Nah, it's Man for me. My shout, my shout is Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez. And um, Suarez is not there. there. Nah, no, but, but this is mine. <laughs> this is mine. Because he, he gave Rodgers in the last This is mine. Yeah, put Rogers, Hodgson, you put Rogers. Sorry, <laughs> oh, Hodgson. Yeah. Yeah. No, but are we? Oh, no, but are we being serious? Oh, I was, I was, I was, well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I thinking was being my, serious about. I was being serious. I'm, I'm being No, because because I'm thinking then what was the point of you reading out the names then? No, just telling you who's there, letting the listeners. That's know their there. shortlist. That's the right? shortlist. But if we're picking the actual best players of the year, I'm asking for your opinion. No, I'm saying that. What's the point of reading out the names if? If if you're gonna put out what you think anyway, it's like yeah, because to let you know, this is what the balance. This is what the, this, the legit one is. Yeah, is what yeah that's balance. what I'm saying. So look, why don't we? Why don't it's we just pick up? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Why so, don't we just pick up the legit ones? ones? So we won't. You I'll, so you're, you're saying we don't pick Suarez? I'm saying if, if Suarez is not there, then why pick him? Because he was one of the best players in in the of the year. He was not there for disciplinary reasons. No, what I'm saying is that yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's not there. So I'm saying 
if we're Ballon d'Or based on football or is it based on? That's what I'm saying. What's it based on? Yeah, I mean, he was obviously the top three of the year. No, 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 he's, no. I'm saying I agree with you. I'm just saying yeah. that if we're picking from our opinion from the list that he said, then why are we picking no. play, people that were not there? My idea was that we're not Ballon d'Or, innit? Like, we're not giving out any awards. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So no, if we don't take right. their list, we're picking our list. No, top what I'm saying list. is then why is he reading out the names and saying, just okay, guys, I'm just letting man them know. Okay, let's carry on. 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 let us carry on let us I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I, I don't I even know. Sure. Do you want to see it? Yeah, go on. You can move on and I'll read the thing. Go on, not, even, not even I'm not sure. I was just having Vance, bro. We took a point. Bro. Even I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I will say this. Ronaldo's there. Because, to be honest, this shortlist is a bit of a joke. I mean... No, it's, it's a joke. It's a bit of a joke. That's why I joke. Let's, let's, you, let's do our own one. Who else would you put there? Yeah, Besides Suarez. 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 Ramos is in there. You know? Ramos, Ramos was clutch. He was clutch last season. He was oh, clutch. Okay. Well, against... Um, when you say clutch, like don't God say clutch. 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 When you say clutch, you got the, the as if he's against... important or what? Sorry, sorry I, I, that's like a basketball term. Champions you know, League. He the goal in the last minute. Um, what's it called? Yeah, Champions League, he got the, the 93rd, 93rd minute goal. He, 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 he saved the season. You can't base on one goal, their, goal their, bro. No, but you know what? And he, Robin says something quite interesting because he saved Real Madrid's season. So not season. Sorry. Actually, yeah. No, he oh, did. Sorry, no, no. You're right. He saved their season. Who? Who? Ramos. 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 When? The equaliser at the Champions League final. They wouldn't have won anything. I mean, the <laughs> and and Ancelotti wouldn't be getting a mention. Ancelotti would be nowhere near the shortlist. So you're right. I agree with Robin there. Whether or not he gets it, Remy. I don't know. But it's, yeah, you said Robin, Robin twice. Yeah. Remy. Remy. Listen, so Remy and Robin. You should be yeah. on that list, bro. Well, you just saved your mind. Listen, we can get there. Ramos I mean, said, Andy, Why is Mascherano there? Why is Abbas here? No, 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 he wouldn't have got sacked. Fam, you don't win the league and the Champions League and you lose in the final? Nah. Can I should also was, say, bro. if we're giving Ancelotti yeah, the shortlist for manager of the year, does that mean in 2012, Di Matteo wins manager of the year? <laughs> no, he, he gets Because he, he won the FA Cup and the Champions shout. League. Oscar, I'm not going to lie with you, he gets a massive shout. Why? Because he wins the Champions League. In under what? Six Cup. months? And he was the FA Cup. I'll right. give him a massive... That's a massive deal. I don't agree. Well, it's a massive deal, though. No, no, I, 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 I would have said Dimitri. It's a massive deal. I, don't, I, 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 I think you said him number one. I, 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 I think Dimitri definitely gets credit for that year. I mean, he was a motivational league. speaker, if anything. Yeah. He literally did that. He just came in and... He said, guys, I remember the days of Dennis Wise. How could you assume what man was saying in the dressing room? And, and just not give Matt credit. Oh my I gave him credit. I gave him credit. He was a multiple. He said he was TD he Jakes. He was TD Jakes. <laughs> he was Joe Austin. Short this, guys. Come on, Oscar. I need, I need okay, your, I need your right. answer. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so I can't pick Suarez. No, I, I give you Suarez, but for the argument of this conversation, let's say Jotty. that there's a Suarez. Um, Would Suarez be number one, though? Be, uh, he no. Be one? no, he wouldn't have been. Oh, right. Then pick your number one. Yeah, pick your number one. Oh, my number one? Yeah. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ernest. Ronaldo. Gareth Bell. Yeah, I was going to say Bell, you know. And I say Gareth Bell because of the Copa del Rey goal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. And and the fact that he scored it to uh, arguably the winning goal because he scored a second goal in the in the final. And twice. Did he score twice in the final? No. No, he's in that Champions League. Yeah, yeah. He scored the winning goal, I think. In the Champions League. Sure. And this is a joke. And I'll say De Maria. Because for me, when he, when he had to move to from right wing to midfield, yeah. to adjust to that and become actually one of the most, in terms of the machine that was Real Madrid last year, Modric and Di Maria were puppet masters. So uh, can I ask why Messi's not in your list? Um, Messi, last season was injured, Messi, so Messi's injured. not in my list because I, I I personally feel like Messi didn't. He was injured last season. I, I I feel like the Messi I know was not there last yeah, year. He wasn't there. Yeah, but that's not fair. On him, because you're, you're judging him by his own standard. No, I hear that, but uh, again, what did, what, 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 what did he win last year? Yeah, but it's not about how he won, it's how he plays. No, I hear Suarez that. Suarez won nothing, but I, I hear that, my but, list. but I can't take Gareth Bell out, because he was very impactful in that saying. team. But if, you're, if, you're put, but if you put Ronaldo, Gareth Bell and Di Maria, that's three world-class players. So you're saying that he's very impactful in that team, but so was Ronaldo and so was Di Maria. Messi was, you no, know... No, but it had an end result. No, but it had an end result. 
is my point. Mm, okay. I have to give it to you based on what you've won. If no one wins that year and Messi scores the most goals, then I go on that grade. But I have to give it to the guys that actually because did business. Because I remember we had this debate last time when we were doing the whole Sterling versus Wilshire thing. And Peter was saying that because Arsenal have performed better than Liverpool, therefore one player is better. But I don't agree with yeah, that. I think if the that. player performs better... That was between the two of you. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if the player performs better, it doesn't matter what he wins. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If the player's better, no, the player's no, better. No, but another man has won and has also had an impact. That's yeah, but not issue. as much impact. Who's number one? <sighs> CR7. Don't know. No, it's definitely on the, on the list. But one thing I've noticed with Ballon d'Or, like, I feel like over the years, mm. they've turned from best player to best goal, like highest goal scorer. Is it, is it just me? I feel like... Mm. Yeah, yeah. Point, last, I agree. Over, yeah. over the last, what, six years, it's been true. Messi, 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 Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Mm. So, you know, I, for me... Um, I, 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 with that being said, I know I would pick Ronaldo as not, um, but you know, my top, top three would be, ah, from, from this list, I would actually put in Yaya Toure, I would even put yeah, Yaya Toure, he had a great, he did. great, great season. He did. Um, and there's no Africans in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, that's such a great shot, when you think about what he did, Yaya Toure is amazing. Mm, he did. And also, Iron Robin. I'll put in Robin. Jackie um, Did well for, for Bayern last year. Mm. Um, yeah. And he's been... Uh, he's been how, how has he been this season? I, I, I haven't watched that many Bayern. Well, I, I just but. remember what he did to Ashley Cole two weeks ago. That's the oh. only thing I remember from Iron <laughs> Robin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah, Iron Robin had, had a good season and and, and, and he had a good World Cup, in my opinion. Yeah. He had a good World Cup. So, besides, I mean, I know Di Maria had... A, Oh, amazing, amazing season last year, and and Bell was very impactful for Real Madrid. But taking away the the wins and stuff, mm. I think he's got had the the best performances. And I'll still give it to Ronaldo because overall, seventeen goals in the Champions League. He just oh he's just gosh. been. <laughs> Yeah, he takes the me. I mean, uh, let me ask you like, a question: If Atletico won the Champions League in the final, would Ronaldo be in your would be your winner? Would Ronaldo still be a winner for Ballon d'Or? Yes. No, I think so. Because then he would have scored sixteen goals. So yeah, no, but I, I, I think Ronaldo. Would give it to him. Huh? I don't think they would. Be oh, you don't? Oh, yeah, I, I don't that. think they would give it. They to would him. give it to Cody Costa or Costa. Anyway, um, Costa, Costa's not even on the list. He is. He is. Yeah, is he? he? Was, yeah. I didn't see him. Have you ever like, forgotten how Costa, how well Costa? Have you ever like, forgotten? Like, it yeah. was amazing. Like, like, he, he's movie. in my shortlist. I had Costa and Suarez, but you can't have Suarez, which I think is crazy. Um, Messi and Ronaldo, and for me, it would be definitely Cody Ronaldo, but only just ahead of Costa, in my opinion. No, I'll give it. With Messi, you have to well, remember, if, if, Messi's if, bad year. If Madrid hadn't won their thing. Messi's bad year. Uh, I mean, if Ronaldo didn't win the... If they didn't win the uh, Champions League, I would have given it to Costa. Because okay. Costa would have won the Champions League. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes <laughs> to Chelsea. Been, it would have been a draw. He would, he, he would have gone to Chelsea and then... Yeah, the, and he's murking yeah. at Chelsea. So I give it to Costa. Costa is just behind Ronaldo. Yeah. Just saying. behind... Just do you know what I'm saying? It adds, that, yeah, it yeah, adds yeah, more. Saying, it adds more. You have to yeah. bear in mind the season a little bit. Um... But and Messi gets there because his team went to the final in the World Cup. His team, even in his bad year, his team lost the league title on the last day. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't think people give Messi. Enough, I don't think Messi credit. was like because it's not about his goals. It's about him as a player. Because like hmm. Remy said, if it's based on goals now, which what it shouldn't be, then Messi doesn't win. But well, that Messi was impact on the player. He was just like, uh, wasn't exactly. it the season before? Wasn't it the exactly. season before that Messi was? And the fact that he was like this. And still could have won yeah. three, you know, two two trophies this year. Do you know what I mean? Could have done that. And I think who did who did Madrid beat in the Copa del Rey final? Barcelona. 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 Yeah. What a shame. Unlucky Messi. But but Mark, yeah, I'm used to seeing just Messi's bag. He lost every final. Every final. He yeah. lost every final. Yeah. That's why. Right. Uh, yeah, he lost every final. See how game. he could have just changed. Like, just Things can just uh, exactly. That's no, why I'm they like, drew the last home game. So then, then in yeah, they didn't even lose. They didn't even lose. Trophies then does. It adds right, to that right. whole Ballon d'Or thing. Clearly. Well, in my opinion, I think it Because when Ronaldo won the league, Messi like, still won the thing because he banged in. That was when I, I said, okay, so this is what Ballon d'Or is about because Messi was Messi. Madrid's best player and won the league and still didn't win the Ballon d'Or. And then Messi got the 91, so it was like, okay. Do you know that he even still won? He got World, player, he got World Cup player of the year. Yeah. Did you know that? Messi. Yeah, yeah he got, yeah, on, 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 on an actual game. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it's yeah, between him and Rodriguez, Rodriguez in my opinion. Was, was even, I don't think he was even in the list, really. He was in the final. He scored four goals. He scored, he scored four, 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 four goals. goals. He's not like judging this, this man by his own standards. It's Listen, unfair. Yeah. <laughs> It's so unfair. His own standards is quite sad. Because we look at him and we think in yeah. eight games, Messi's supposed to score six. Yeah. He score but it's unfair. Final. In that final, he should have scored. Should have oh, scored. I'm so sorry, Messi, man. I love you. Because yeah. you, you had that chance, wow. bro. Next week's, next week's predictions. Um, some good games, man. Newcastle will start off 12.45 at home to Liverpool. Come on, Newcastle. It's interesting. Oh, that's wrong. What a game. Liverpool don't lose at St. James's Park. But they ain't got a striker. When is Daniel Sturridge coming back? He was supposed to be back a couple of weeks ago, then he had a no, setback. Well, he got a midweek, wouldn't he? be a, he had a no, setback. A man to go, to go back on form. Yeah, Balotelli scored yesterday. Yeah, Balotelli scored against Swansea. On, on Twitter, it was 2-1. Oh, so it was the last minute. Okay. On Twitter, it's like, on my days, Balotelli has scored a goal. Alert. Well, it depends what the Liverpool team turn out. I just see it being a draw or Newcastle win. But what do I go with? What are you saying? Newcastle. Newcastle? Home win. I'm saying the Newcastle win. Newcastle home win? Oscar? Um, I'm saying a... Uh, Liverpool win 3-2 Liverpool win draw draw from Ernest Remy um, uh, yeah I'll go for a draw I guess draw yeah uh, I'm going to go for a Liverpool away win uh, Stoke at home to West Ham that is a game West Ham man. Stoke are not doing good at home though West Ham. West Ham I'm going to say a draw draw Oscar um, well pff. Sorry, say the teams again. Stoke at home to West Ham. Oh, West Ham. No, 2 2. I said draw it earlier, didn't I? Yeah, draw. Draw 2 2. Did you? Stoke at home to West Ham. Um, Stoke at home to West Ham. Stoke 2 1. Stoke 2 1. Ooh. Really? Um, a West Ham win. West Ham win, yeah. Away from Burnley. Uh, I'm going with a West Ham win as well. Away from Burnley. Uh, Leicester at home to West Brom. <laughs> David, that's the dodgy does come. Barra, he no win now. West Brom away win. West Brom away win. Massive. I'm saying that's the win. Leicester home win from Robin. Oscar. <laughs> West Brom away win. West Brom away win from Oscar. West Brom away win. West Brom away win. I don't know. I'm. West Brom's your team, West Brom's your team, bro. 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 They're still okay. West Brom's your team, bro. West Brom, I don't know how they're doing away. But I know Barrino will definitely score. So. Snake. But, you know. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. So, but I'll go say one, definitely. one one or two, two. Oh, yo, Snake. Yeah, I, I agree with Remy. I think it'll be a draw. Snake. I think it'll be two, two. two. It'll be like two, two. Um, Arsenal at home to Burnley, David? We have to bury them, bro. Arsenal. We have to. If we lose, yeah. I'm what score are you them, saying? Bro. I'm burning my shirt. 10 3 0, bro. 3 0. If anything less than that, I'm burning my shirt. Honestly, bro. it's going to be a draw. This guy. If honestly, I feel like it's gonna be a draw. The dude was like, oh, "This guy." <laughs> <laughs> he's a pole, you know. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, nah. um, if Arsenal don't win, do you know how many accumulators will just be messed up for the week? <laughs> yeah. I think Arsenal will win like three 0 Three 0 you guys don't rate Arsenal. No, it's not about, no, 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 you don't understand. It is, it is. No, it's not. It's not. It's the Premier League. Do you know, it's, do you know, it's, do you know it's, it's the, the lack, lack of ratings like, of Arsenal. No, do you know this? I'm not going to, I've said, i said this, I think every podcast, I don't trust Arsenal this year, bro. Yeah. I just don't trust them. Because they, they'll do something great and then the next week you'll think, bro, they should beat this team. Show me fit though, wait. Because it's more than oh. the United States, bro. All right, I'll say Arsenal 2-0. Two, two but even though I don't, I don't trust Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I just don't know, bro. Wait, you know with Hull, when you guys drew 2-0. I thought we were going to win that game. I think, you know, defensively, you guys you know, weren't that great. You know, you didn't turn up. And Hull, you no, know, no, with, with we their... we took the lead, though. I know you took, yeah, you took, we the, lead, took the lead, but we, the lead. But because it's Hull, we've got, you know, especially the army playing well. And uh, who's up front against Hernandez? They're a lot better. With Burnley... I think even if you guys don't play so well, they haven't got anyone really to, to like even like yeah, threat. I so never know, who are you even looking at to provide a spark? To, to, to threat, even if Arsenal don't turn up that well. So if anything, the, the least will be a one 0 I think I think Arsenal it could be it better. could be similar to the game that Arsenal just played last was at Sunderland, yeah. where Arsenal didn't even play that well but still ended up winning two 0 I, I think you know one 0 two 0 Arsenal win. Oh, I don't see Burnley doing anything. Yeah, I agree with Oscar that it will be that kind of unconvincing win, but I still put them the last because mm. it. Things are just not ticking at Arsenal. That, that's what it comes down to. Uh, Chelsea at home to QPR. Um, just to let you not know, <laughs> Diego Costa will be fit and ready oh. for that game. Chelsea at home to QPR. Now, last season they drew two all. Is that correct? Wow. 
Last season, we Didn't we lose to QPR? Was it 1-0? Yeah, one nil. I'm sure right Phillips scored. I think that was years ago, though. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, what's, 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 oh, yeah, what's, what's QPR years ago, in the league last year? No, yeah, no. It was in America. Yeah, it was two years ago. No, no, what? QPR won? were in the Premier League? They were in the league last year. Yeah, so last time we played them at Stamford Bridge, we lost. So, under Red Bull. What did I say? I said last time. I man them. It was, it was me, Costa, wasn't it? Uh, Davis. Um, so I put Costa back in my team then, my fantasy. Yeah, of course. Cool. Why did you take him out? He didn't leave. Bro, he was injured, bro. <laughs> I, I put him on the bench. That's as far as he went. He didn't leave, man. He was still in my first team. I put him back. I lose four points in there, so it don't matter. Four points? I lose yeah, four you, points. You lose four points, Costa. Because I went, uh, Chelsea win. Top, I didn't leave. Chelsea win. Chelsea win. Chelsea win, Oscar. Yeah, three now. Chelsea win. Ernest. Batter. They're going to bat a QPR. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, yeah, Chelsea, you know, just want to rip them. Oh, imagine Chelsea right. lose this so, game. I'm, I'm so not going, what I'm what not happens going to the Premier League algorithms now? Yeah. I'm not going full house. I'm going with a draw. Can you imagine, though? Yeah. All this yeah. thing, hey, the Messi algorithms can be can Arsenal, yeah. Man United yeah. can be Chelsea, then QPR going to do it. Like, yeah, but they won't be that. Not this beat. is no, what I was saying. I don't think they'll win, but I think it will be annoying. This is what I was saying last week. Any game that Chelsea lose from now on, you're not going to expect them to lose at home, though. Yeah, you said that lost the road, maybe. Or it, Chelsea could win two one, for example, but it is Oscar will not be happy. He won't be happy with the performance. That's that's the, that's what I'm saying. Chelsea fans will not be happy this weekend. Just just for just for I think they'll be like Leicester. You know what? Just to let go one Leicester goal to keep you up. Just most of the game, then Chelsea just went to another gear. I think that's what it's going to be. I think Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea will go to another gear. Correct. Two one Chelsea, okay. full house. Two one Chelsea. Um, uh, look, Everton at home to Swansea. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Who knows? Draw. Who knows? Think about it, yeah. Swansea drew with Leicester. Where is Swansea in the league? Because they started. Swansea no, drew, they I'm won. Talking, I'm talking they rubbish. Yeah, you've been drinking that. that <laughs> Where is Swansea in the that league? Juice. That worse. <laughs> huh? Where is Swansea in the league? Because they started very well. They started very well, they but... Uh, I told you they, I said that early season nonsense, bro. Well, say that. But I think they've got, <laughs> uh, I think they've got the most clean sheets this season. Bit. Swansea are... Oh, sixth. They're sixth. No, I know okay. Southampton have had a good run. I know they're... Sorry, Southampton, uh, Swansea are six. Six. That's a draw, bro. I have this weird feeling know. that Southampton have had the most clean sheets, actually. Probably yeah. they had four. Yeah. I have this yeah. strange feeling that they've had, they've had more. Prediction, <coughs> David. That's a draw, bud. Mm. Whose ground is that? Everton. Oh, Robin? Oh, I can't see Swansea going there. I'm Robin? Winning. I'm going to say draw, honestly. That's all I can see. Draw. Oscar? Um, I think an Everton win, 2-1. 2-1 Everton. Draw. Draw. Go for an Everton win. I'm going Everton 3-1. Okay. Um, Hull at home to Swans, uh, Southampton. <laughs> Hull at home to Southampton. Southampton. I might even stream that. That game is looking nice. That looks like a nice game. 2-1. I'm at work. Can't I? Huh? Southampton 2-1. Away win, yeah? Yeah. Away win. Away win. Away win. Uh, Robin? Southampton 3-1. Oscar? Um, yeah, draw. 2-2. Draw. 2-2. Two, two. Ernest? I think Hull will win. Hull at home. Remy? Um, I think a draw. A good game. This should have been on Sunday. Uh, you know, after beating Suns in 8-0, I think everyone was like, whoa, Southampton, Southampton. And then last week, you know, they, 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 they got by Stoke. So I think that shows, you know, they, they, they came back to earth in a, in, a, in a way. And this is going to be a t- much yeah. tougher game. I think so. Southampton are playing today, aren't they? So I think, you one. know, it'll be, it'll be a tough game. Two, probably 1-1 or 2-2 draw. Something like that. It's going to be very tight. Um, wow, it's a tough game to predict. I'm going to go with a whole home win. Just move on to Sunday. Why is there 5.30 games? Yeah, there, there's none. Anyway, Sunday, Man City at home to Manchester United. 1.30, <laughs> Sunday. Oh, Rooney's back. No, he's, 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 he's got a foot injury. Oh, oh, I wanted oh, to see Rooney in that game. Oh my! But he's fighting fitness for Sunday, so I, I don't know if he'll 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 eventually be on the bench. Without or so. Rooney, David, oh, at the Etihad, gosh. City at home to Manchester United. United, United, United. I honestly, no, I honestly, I, I I was more confident before the Chelsea game United. about Man City. You reckon Man United? Would be I, I, I'm, 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 I was much more confident about going to the Etihad than playing Chelsea. Away win, yeah. Robin. United. Oscar. Blood. City are going to duck him and bury him. Yeah. 3 1. Just. No, Rudy. No, no. City are going to. Yeah, but United were at home. So. United. I mean, I thought, yeah, I, I did I did put the exact same prediction. I thought Chelsea would win 3 1. And we should have won 3 1, but we just didn't take our chances. But yeah, same thing. I think City will. 
Not even give United a sniff. <laughs> oh, man. Not even a sniff. Oh, oh my goodness. Put, put play I think we'll win 3-2. Wow. Robin. Uh, Remy, sorry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going for United win. I don't, I don't United! See, United! Been, see, I have not been at the... the David, I'm shocked. Year. I understand the United fans. David, I'm shocked at you. But that's a City home win. Well. That's a City home win. Oh, oh, David. Oh, David. Right. Come on, what score do you think? <laughs> I, I uh, think... Uh, I'm more confident about them winning than, like, at all the other results. <laughs> <laughs> there was no result that's I was really sure most at. Confident I'm so sure City will win. Yeah, I don't trust Arsenal too tough. Watch that. You come next week, innit? No, no, really, trust... I don't trust Arsenal. The only thing I would say, if Man City take the lead, then we, it could be a bit of one and do, 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 do you know why I'm, I'm, I'm confident? Is because both attacks and both defences are about the same. Uh-huh. No way is City's defence like yours. No way. Yeah, that's com- that's com- that's company that's and, and Mangala? They have a mayor in them. But that's just what I'm saying. Bro, bro, I, 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 no, no. Obviously, com- company no. solid, but Mangala... Look, man, not, man, Mangala, man, Mangala, Mangala and Clichy. I, I don't have them. I'll, I'll no, take no, Mangala no, over Rojo, and Rojo's Man United's best centre-back. No, no, they've got a mayor in them. And Luke I, Shaw, I, I, I don't. I think they really both have right now. Who's your best centre back? My girl is new, bro. We don't know. Remember my girl? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. There you go. Like, we don't know. There you go. Like, you don't know. I don't think Rose is be, centre back. Because, 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 because the season has just started, bro. There you go. With, 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 Look, with new players. You know, if, we don't know. You know, if Rooney was back, I would. I would I'd give get, United a chance. I'd get something, yeah. yeah but but Rooney's, if Rooney's not going to play... Now, Rooney's fine. Who starts? Van Persie or Falcao? Both. Both. Falcao, Both. 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 Yeah. City home win. Whoa, Are you whoa, mad? Whoa. You think you're going to go two up front at the Etihad? Why not? Because you're leaking a place somewhere in midfield. And, and, we're, and we're scoring goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but United... We are scoring United, goals. United. What? <laughs> against, uh, you against have to bear this in mind. You had, you had more... Percy didn't have that good of a game. You, you had, had more United. shots. United. You had more shots against Chelsea. You had more shots on target against Chelsea and left with one point. And, 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 and Courtois was I, dope. I just think... Yeah, I, I think Courtois was dope. you got to give him credit for that. He's got a mare in him. Cool, in it. 3-0 Man City. 3-0 Man City. United. United. I can't believe he thinks we're not going to score. Well, you still lose. It's still three no, no, points no, no. to see. United, no, no, no. United. No, no, no. I can't believe he said that. It's I don't think there's going to be a single it's game not, it's not that. to the end of the season. At the Etihad. It's not like I say that when you lot go at home to QPR. It's not like I say that at home to Burnley, at home to Sunderland, away at Newcastle. No, no, I'm saying this is Man City. They're used to Stoke, though. That man turn up against oh, you every it's year. Stoke. Beat them. Oh. Bro. I'm sure. United! <laughs> Sunderland, <laughs> Sunderland, 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 yeah, lost, what's it called? Got a, got a point at, got a point at, at Thingy, got a point at, um, at, at the Etihad, and City beat them 4 0. Listen, come next week, in it. With Rooney in that team, well, wait, we don't. I don't think we do enough with these predictions. We need to shame people for their awful predictions. That we need wrong. to come back. Yeah, and we, we need to go need back to over back previous back. weeks. I mean, we like, you were wrong. <laughs> you were dead wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's the early kickoff. It's annoying. So the four o'clock one is Aston Villa at home to Tottenham. Hmm. David? Hmm. Aston Villa. What? Aston Villa? No. Draw. Because, draw? No. No. because yeah, Pochettino only shows his emotions in his house. In, <laughs> in his bed. <laughs> That's the uh, reason they're going to leave. <laughs> Robin? You said draw? Draw. I'm going to I think a draw. Uh, Tottenham 3-1. Tottenham 3-1. Tottenham 3-1. Tottenham. No, 3 nil. Sorry, let me change that because that's yeah, a bit of can't even score a goal. Like but their strikers are back though. Benteke, Abong, Lahore and Vyman. That is a serious attack, man. The pace of that right. team. Uh, no. so hey, what happened to Benteke? Their attack has been he poor from the start of the season. Every First game, even when they beat Liverpool. Games, though, they, they scored quite not How many goals did they score? They, they, like, uh, everybody got really? gas when they beat Liverpool, game, but even that goal yeah, they scored from a corner. Oh, they got an impressive win somewhere else, though. But I can't remember where. Yeah, oh, and that, they, they, they had no else. threat in that whole game. There was another game, but I can't remember who it was. But, um, I think they'll, they'll finally score, mm. but I think ultimately Tottenham will win 2 1 for me. I think Tottenham will not win, bro. I think Tottenham will win. It's a Sunday game, and they have a very good question. That's all right for them. Yeah, but good for them. Not this, sorry, last week. They don't oh, have a game this week, sorry. Um, Monday game, oh. Palace at home to Sunderland. Palace. 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 Oh, you can't even bank on Palace. Yeah, I can, bro. You can't even bank on Palace. Have you seen Sunderland's defence, bro? But, who's home? Talk to me, bro. Palace. Talk to me, bro. Go on, God, David. Palace, bro. Palace, Robin. Crystal Palace. Oscar? I think that would be a draw. Even with Sunderland? Yeah, I think Sunderland will win or it will be a draw. Okay. I don't think uh, Palace will get anything. Uh, Yannick Balassi and Wilfried Zaha will dance. 
around the league. Nah, they ain't done much this year. Yeah. Yeah. Zaha should have had a penalty in the last game, bro. But they ain't done. Zaha hasn't done much. They ain't done. Like, but go on. Assist in the Chelsea game? So, Ernest, what are you saying? Right. Palace win? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Palace win? I say Palace win. Uh, Remy? Yeah, Palace. Palace win? Yeah, I guess I'm happy. What's happening with Gus? Can we just pause on Gus for him? <laughs> What's really good with Listen, Gus? My, right? my yeah. opinion on Gus, he's a good guy. Last season was miraculous. He's a good person. My, I'm so, <laughs> Sunderland team's dead. Bro, they're, they're what, up front, is it's Wickham, no. isn't it? Team's dead. It's Look who's in your centre band. Uh, he had a, he had a good team last year. He has a dead team this year. And he couldn't, he didn't have enough money to buy any players. Look, look at his look at his back. It's not his fault. No, I just said, oh, O'Shea Jones and West O'Shea, Brown. They're experienced guys. No, That's the thing. Not. The only they're thing I'll old. say, experience. I know they're you're going to say West Brown, you know. The, the but West Brown is making mistakes. West so Brown where's your experience? Mistakes. Like, <laughs> fam, why is Fred on the bench, bro? Before the, the last two games, no, some of them were doing no, 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 okay. No. They weren't actually that bad. Like, no one actually talked about what some of them were yeah, poor. Yeah. It's just because they ain't no, just, they're I don't old, know what bro. happened there. No one knows what happened. They lost that home to QPR. That for me, it spoke volumes to me, man. QPR have been bad this year. And if you're losing that QPR, you're not even scoring. No, but Remy, Remy, you can't like, lose. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Right, that's with Ferdinand. Hey, QPR won twice. They, they, they beat Stoke. They beat Stoke. Game they won. They beat... uh, what was the other game they won? That game. And, and then they won last night. Burnley, that's the thing. Burnley, 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 Burnley need to leave it, bro. They get relegated. Nine games without a win for Burnley. But um, yeah, so uh, but yeah, that that. Imagine their first win is against against Arsenal. No, can you just imagine that? I think their first one coming live, to be honest. It'll come against their in their home ground. Who's that? Burnley. Against who? QPR. It'll be one of those moments. <laughs> it will, it'll be one of those. It will be something. It will be someone small. It won't be a big. But QPR turn it up now, so. I I did say in the first like times we were talking about QPR that like Harry Houdini would save QPR. <laughs> he said Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini. He will save QPR, oh, we'll and they're not going down. Oh dear. That rounds rounds up this week's uh, top four pod. Uh, do tune in on the YouTube. Like, <laughs> pun the YouTube. Subscribe. Um, and yeah, we'll be back next week. Yes, I know. Top four. Peace. Peace. Peace.